<laughs> Hello. <laughs> all right, guys. So this is where it all started. Let me tell you why I started the impulse. All right. Like I said, first three months I started trading, you know, I was what you call a professional trade taker. I was on Dr. K's call every morning, lover to death. I was taking swipe trades. I was taking swipe trades. You know, I was taking trades from every, anyone you know. All right. And basically, you know, got to the point where, you know, I was seeing Dr. K, you know, take, uh, you know, she was traveling and she had to cancel some of our sessions. And basically, uh, you know, I say, I needed to find a way to, you know, to understand how to trade by myself. So I took, you know, what I've learned from Dr. K, which was the cloud, you know, uh, took 10 pips and dip. Basically, Jamal Green was my buddy. It's his old trading strategy or style was market structure. Uh, and then we got blessed one day where Stevenson Lindor, uh, he did a training, you know, and his training was over. You know, impulse. Hold on a second, guys. Can you guys hear me? Yes, sir. All right. So his Stevenson didn't know whole strategy, but his training that day went over the impulse, the correction, which was the flag, and the continuation. So for me, I had a kiss moment. The light bulb went off. You know, and I said, Well, if I can take, you know, what I've learned from Dr. K, you know, use a little bit of market structure with Jamal Green. And I love the impulse because he said that when it when it impulses, they're gonna correct. And that's the flag before it continue continues on where it's going. And it made it clicked for me, it made a lot of sense. All right. So what I what I did was I took those three strategies and I said, okay, let me use what I can do for me. You know, I'm pretty busy, so I needed to be in and out of the market fast. You know, I like scalping because that was my whole thing. I didn't want to be a swing trade where I'm letting trades run all day long. I wanted to get in and, out of, in and out of the market fast and compound my money. You know, and, you know, I tell people all the time, if you have a swing trader, you know, and you have a scalp trader, and we both shoot for 100 pips, right? If we both shoot for 100 pips, and that swing trader, you, we started the same lot size. I will definitely make more money than that swing trader because I'm getting it 10 pips at a time. The swing trader is gonna set and just wait for 100 pips to hit. You know, so basically that's why I love, you know, compounding my money, all right? So let's run through this guys, bear with me. So like anything, we have to, you know, put a disclaimer, past results, doesn't guarantee future results. Make sure you leverage your account right, proper risk management. We went over that in the first training, which was yesterday. One to three percent of your account, one trade at a time. Do not be greedy. Stick to the plan. All right. So, like we talked about, everything we do in life, we have goals. All right. Everything. So, in my scalping strategy, my goals is basically set up like this. You know, I, I shoot for for twenty pips a day, right? But in those twenty pips. I decided that I need to use my stop loss in profit. Okay, so what I say, okay, on average, my stop loss is in profit at four pips. So if I was to get in five trades and four or five of the trades hit stop loss in profit at four pips, that would give me my 20 pips for the day. So basically five trades with stop loss in profit at four pips equals 20 pips. That's my daily goal minimum. My weekly goal is the same, same scenario, but it's more or less times five. So 100 pips total per week, 25 trades minimum with a stop loss and profit at four pips. Now, what this can means is I can basically, you know, on my daily goal, I can catch two trades with 10 pips apiece and, and basically knock out my daily goal. But if I put my stop loss and profit and get knocked out, 
in profit, then technically that would be my 20 pips also. All right, same thing monthly, 100 trades minimum, four, uh, four pips in profit, 400 pips for the month. All right, now when we look at these numbers, remember we go over those lot sizes, right? So for the lot sizes, you know, let's just say if you were trading a standard lot size all month long <clears throat> with the same, you know, scenario with the goals, basically, you know, 100 trades at, you know, with four pips, which is 400 pips at a dollar lot size, that's basically $4,000. So that when I was look, coming up with this, I was looking at that, but you can make more once you compound it. And you just, you, and yet, this is just my minimum goals, all right? So the reason for my scalping is basically I catch pips quick. I'm in and out the market fast, all right? I do weekly withdrawals. So every week, I withdraw money back into my account. The reason I love weekly withdrawals is because it gives me, it give me uh, energy, motive, motive, motive. Come on, babe. It gives me motive, mo all right? It gives me motivation. It gives me energy. It gives me excitement to go and trade the next week. That's like, for example, you go work at your job or whatever you're doing and you work a whole week and they tell you well, come back next week you know you see how much money you made but you can't have the money technically that's that's why the weekly withdrawals i don't want to trade all week long remember we talked about this being 90 percent mental so if if i'm going through 90 percent mental you know uh trading all week long and then i at the end of the week, I, I can't withdraw no money. I can't see nothing from it. That ain't going to work for me. So that's why I withdraw every week, to give me motivation to, to trade the next week, all right? Um, also, fast movement in the market. That's what scalping does. And then the consolidation is where you trade any time of the day, all right? Uh, when you're using a broker, I recommend you use a broker with low commissions, low spreads, you know, some that reimburse on your deposit. You can do your research to find a broker that works best for you and basically use that broker. All right, so the reason I, I, I found one pair I married it, and the reason I, I used GJ back in the day <laughs> was uh, because it, it moves between 100 and 200 pips uh, daily. So with the market moving, you can make money. That's where you make the money, when the market's moving, all right? And then the more you spend with one pair, you, you basically, you, you know it's every move. That's just, just think about it. If you're a, ma a married couple or you live with somebody, you know, you know what time they usually wake up in the morning. You know what's their favorite food. You know the favorite music. You know, you know a lot of stuff, you know, about that person. So it's the same thing when you trade in the currency. So this is why I was stuck with GJ for a long time. All right? Until now. Hello. All right, leverage. Remember we talked about leveraging yesterday, right? Even, even baby GJ made a noise. She said you need to leverage right, all right? The more you can leverage, the more chances you have to be profitable in the market, all right? I tell people 200 to 400 pips minimum if you're doing weekly withdrawals. You know, if you're using the spreadsheet, spreadsheet forces you to use about, you know, to be able to sustain 500 pips. If you can sustain almost a thousand or more, that's more, more, more power to you. You have a higher chance of always hitting profit. All right. Uh, so you always want to leverage right, you know, because here's the thing: you may get in the trade and news. If you consolidate, news may come out, or you know something drastic and just pop out of nowhere and happen. Yeah, we have news that you can prepare for, but you know. There was an incident a couple months ago where, you know, two high name politicians in, in Great Britain just, they got up and walked out and the market just dropped. So something like that you cannot prepare for. So in that, in that case, you know, you want to make sure that your account is leveraged right so you can sustain those movements, all right? So let's get into this, to the impulse. What is the impulse, all right? This is where you take notes, guys. Well, you should have been taking notes. But the impulse is basically identifying 70 to 100 pips. Okay, so remember yesterday in our training, we went over how to calculate pips. Remember, we talked about adding 10 pips, subtracting 10 pips. 
do the same thing. So when you identify 70 to 100 pips of consecutive candles, so consecutive means the same, the same candle. So if it's all by candles and it's 70 to 100, that is considered impulse. If it's all sell candles and it's 70 to 100, that's considered impulse. Now, the reason we use 70 to 100, and it could be more, but I, I identify impulse as, as long as it gets to 70, all right? I've seen more impulses, more than 70, but for everything you do, you know, uh, you, 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 even though you trust me, you have to verify it, guys. You know, I don't care who it is. If you trust somebody, you still have to verify. Ronald Reagan said that. I trust you, but I must verify. So your way of verifying this information is looking left in the market, back testing. Back testing can never go wrong. And the market will basically tell you what it did. So in my back testing phase of this strategy, I realized that every impulse that happened at 70 always corrected. I don't care how you put it. I've seen impulse went almost 600 pips you know, when I was in the Bahamas for the New Year's, and instantly we hit the correction and bam. Think I, and in that training, I made like five, $6,000 in basically less than one minute. And there are so many people making money right there, you know, with me. You know, and uh, everything that, you know, just think about it. What goes up must come down. You know, you, you, you think about an airplane. It's on level ground, takes off, gets this altitude, it's cruising altitude, time to land, starts to descend, lands back to level ground. It's the same thing, you know? So I realized that every impulse happened on GJ with a minimum of 70 pips, always came back and correct. So, but then I realized too, sometimes it went to 100 pips. Sometimes it went to 150 pips, maybe, rare, Rare, rare cases, it went over 120 pips on rare cases. But if it did, that's when the leveraging plays a part. So even if I entered at 70 pips, because I was leverage correct, basically I was able to sustain the extra 30 or 40, 50 pips that it actually did. And then I still came back and hit my TP. So this is why leveraging is going to play a big factor. All right, so you can choose. If you're new in trading impulse, you, I would recommend you wait to like 80, 90 pips, and then you can enter. But then sometimes you may miss out on the impulse when you're waiting on 80 or 90. So that's why I basically uh, I did 70. All right, so remember, consecutive candles, buy or sell candles, consecutive. That means if you have, you know, a few buys and a sell in there came in and messed it up, then technically it's not an impulse. It basically voided that impulse. All right? Uh, there you go. All right, and then same thing if it's a sell. You just go the other way. All right? So this would be an example in a sell, consecutive sell candles, went for 95 pips, and the correction is what you're shooting for. All right, so guys, this, when you're talking about the impulse, the impulse can be one candle. It can be four or five candles. It can take 10 to 15 candles. As long as it's consecutive candles, it basically, and it went 70 to 100 pips, that is when you identify the impulse. So once it, it basically happens, what you do is you enter for the correction. So the correction is basically the opposite of what happened, all right? So that's what you shoot for on the impulse. All right, and like I said, we stick with 10 pips because that's, you know, when I started with, with Dr. K, 10 pips in dip, and I just stayed with it, all right? Hold on a second, guys. All right, sorry about that, guys. All right, so 10 pips is what you shoot for on your entry. Now, this is going to be key because when we go into training on the, uh, on the impulse, 
One second. Once you once you are uh, you put in take uh, ten pips for your take profit. So what I want you guys to understand is when you enter for the correction, what I want you to do is I want you to understand with this info scalper you have, it's going to give you the, the bearish and bullish alert, okay? And when I say bearish and bullish, I want you to understand this. The bearish and bullish is basically identifying the impulse that's happening. And it's going to be the bearish and bullish when we go over that training, is we're going to teach you to enter on the next candle. So for today, you guys heard me say, okay, get ready. And man, that's so powerful where I can tell you, hey, get ready for this trade. It's but, it's but the hit. And then I tell you, wait for my signal, and then we jump in, and bam, we hit it. So when you get the bearish and bullish alert, that means the impulse scalper has identified that this trade here is already in the impulse form. It already identified the impulse, the consecutive candles. So with the strategy, what you're gonna do is you're gonna wait for the next candle to come out. And we're looking at the 15 minute time frame. And once that time frame hits, basically you're gonna jump in on the correction. All right, so we're gonna go more in detail in that. We're gonna go more in detail in that. But 10 pips is what you shoot for, all right? Same thing, the whole thing, the whole reason I like my, my strategy is because once I get in profit, at least four pips, I throw my stop loss in profit and that protects my account. So remember, this goes back to my goals in the beginning. This goes back to my goals in the beginning. Five trades with a minimum of four pips and with a stop loss in profit and you know that's a total of 20 pips, all right? so. Once you get, you know, four pips of profit, you have to know how to calculate this stuff. Hold on, guys. All right, so you have to know to put your four pips in profit, and that's why we went over the, the basics yesterday. So you can actually, you know, know how to calculate your pips and put those pips in profit, all right? So with that being said, the summary, you know, you, you set your goals. You make your weekly withdrawals, you know, find a broker, you know, that's gonna be you know, low spreads, low commission. You know, uh, you wanna basically understand that all profits in the market is good. You know, I don't care if you made 20 cents, I don't care if you made 20 bucks, I don't care if you made 200 bucks or $2,000. Understand that all profits in the market is good. You know, I tell people this all the time. You go and put $100 in a bank, you know, at the end of the month, you know, see how much that bank is going to pay you. All right? So, you know, and if you cannot put your stop loss and profit fast enough, you know, I, I tell people all the time, just close out the trade. Close out the trade in blue. You made money. All right? The key is do not over leverage. Do not over leverage. And you will see so much success in your in your trading style. All right. Also, Ronald Reagan, I trust you, but I must verify. I can sit in, I can tell you stuff all day long. Any trainer, any educator, they can tell you stuff all day long. But if you don't trust it, you don't try it out yourself. You don't test the strategy. And testing is what we call back testing in the market. Look left and basically test it out. On your demo account, don't test out stuff, you know, in your live account, and then you end up losing money. You always want to back test stuff first on your demo, get comfortable, and then after that, you go into your live account, all right? So the reason we wanted to go over this impulse is because this is the impulse scale, but this is what you guys have your hands on. This is the game changer. So we don't want you to, we don't want you to, just get in the habit of taking these trades. Remember, that's what I was doing the first three months, and I didn't have that much success with it. So you want to know exactly, you know, why you're getting a bearish or bullish alert. You want to know exactly why 
you're dumping in these trades. You know, and what that's going to do is that you may get better entries off of that. And then when you do get the, 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 the alert, what that's going to do for you is you're going to be able to put your 10 pips in quick. So right now, like I said, me and Paul is actually plugging in to take profit for you guys. You know, so until we have the programmer, you know, to, to actually do that next step. If you know how the impulse works, as soon as you get that alert, guess what? You can turn around and you can plug in your take profit and you don't have to wait on us because think about it. You know, people complain all day about the telegram, you know, that it's, you know, it's, it's delaying sometimes or, you know, maybe MetaTrader 4 may freeze on you, your broker may freeze. Well, guess what? If you identify the impulse and you get in and put your take profit where it's supposed to be, you're not panicking because you know it's going to impulse, especially if you back test the strategy and you see that it hits every single time, you're not panicking. If you're leveraged right, you're not panicking. Do not panic. Just follow the simple instructions, follow the strategy, you know, and stick with it. Don't try to be all over the place. You know, everybody want to make this quick money. Everybody want to make this quick money and everybody want to try this, try that, try the next thing. If you've been following me for the last, I guess, 11 months now, I've stayed consistent with the same thing for 11 months, made a lot of money in the last 11 months off of my impulse strategy, off of trade and consolidation. I've never changed nothing. I've never tried to jump and be a swing trader because that's not me. Your trading style is going to fit your personality or your time in life, your, 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 your character. That's going to fit, that's going to fit your, your, your style. You can't be a scalper and you have a swing trader, you know, mentality. You know, if, you, if you're not patient, if you don't have that much patience, then, hey, scalping might be for you. You, you, you can't put, put a trade out and, 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 and want to wait two, three weeks, and then you're stressing out yourself for two, three weeks. If that's what you can do, if you can sustain that and you can, you know, go through the patience, then, hey, you need to swing trade or you need to intraday. You know, this is where the academy you know, comes into play. You actually, you all right, babe? You actually going to learn the style, you know, follow a trader that you like, you know, follow a trader that's consistently hitting profits and you run with it. You know, a lot of people just follow the hype and this is real talk. A lot of people follow the hype because they say, oh, Mr. GJ only had 12 losses in the last 11 months. Man, you don't understand, you know, what you have to go through to be able to sustain that or get the seven or 800 wins profitable trades in the market. You know, that came from a lot of back testing. If you know how I many hours that I, I was up in the morning, you know, basically learning stuff or, you know, following on Dr. K, you know, every morning. I did that for almost two, three months, every single morning, you know, so I then had to turn around and go to work you know, an hour later after a session was done, but it all paid off. It was worth it. You know, so you have to understand, you know, follow a strategy that's going to work for you. All right. Follow a strategy that's going to work for you. Don't try to be all over the place and you just back test the thing to the T. All right. I know I'm kind of, you know, around the house walking around. Y'all just have to bear with me. Let's get some questions. Uh, let's get some questions, guys. Before I, I'm going to go into trading view, and, uh, and we're going to look for a few uh, impulses. Or oh, Paul, maybe you can help me with that. You can see if we can go through trading view, find find about two or three impulses, probably like maybe two, three weeks ago on GJ. But let's take some questions first before we Mr. do that. GJ. And then after we do the impulse on trading view, then we're going to go ahead and uh, we're going to go over the spreadsheet. Question. Go ahead. All right. This is uh, the F bomb guy from last night. Good to see y'all, man. <laughs> yeah, all right. I get, I get F -bomb. Oh, hey, from Memphis, look, this is the F bomb guy. Hey, no more F bombs, straight up. Nope. But look, uh, oh, I gave oh, to the charity. I gave to oh, the charity. Get the new button ready. Get right. I gave. I gave to the charity today, so uh -huh. I kept my word. All right, but look. I was driving up and I lost signal. Could you please, for me, I'm sorry, everybody. Could you go over quickly over the impulse? I saw where you said 
it has to be consecutive sales or consecutive buys, and you said 70 to 100 pips. And you said no. you enter in on the very next candle, or when, so, that's what I need okay. you to clarify. When do I enter in after the impulse? Okay, perfect. That's a good question. So, so before we had the impulse scalper, before we basically kind of came into this gold mine. So you have everything right, 70 to 100 pips, uh, consecutive candles, you enter on the correction. If you know the strategy, if you know how to identify the impulse and you know what to wait for, then you don't have to wait. Sometimes this thing hits on the same candle. So you don't have to wait on the next candle. With the impulse alert, I'm going to be training people to wait on the next candle. And that's been being, being able to hit and go straight, you know, into profit, very minimum drawdown for the next candle. So if you know the impulse, then yes, you don't have to, you don't have to wait on the uh, next candle. But if you're trading on the impulse scalper, then I'm going to be training you to actually wait on the next candle. So basically, you can actually hit your 10 pips on that on that same candle as impulsing. Okay, so if so, the same count. So if let's just say it's 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 on a sale and it's going down and it crosses that seventy pips, I can I go I get in right then. Is what what you're saying? I you, can be jump in, you can actually jump in right then while the candle is still moving and basically catch your ten pips. Now, if you gotcha. if you're practicing back testing it. What I would recommend in the beginning is wait for about, don't use 70, go from 80 to 90, because 70, you may need some more patience sometimes. Gotcha. Now, gotcha. eight times out of 10, it's going gonna, it's gonna to hit right then. Okay. Okay. Gotcha. Thank you. I sure appreciate it, man. Hey, hey, shout out to his name. It says no more F-bombs on his name. <laughs> Can I? Man, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm respecting the house, man. It's all good. <laughs> hey, all right, Dave, 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 Mr. DJ, I have a question. Oh, okay. um, go ahead. Can you please go over the um, actions when it comes to correction? Say it again for me. When it comes to correction, can you go over that a little bit more? in regards to what action I'm supposed to be taking at that point when it gets to correction? Okay, so it's going to be the opposite of what it's doing. So, for example, if it's going to be, if you identify the impulse is a buy, so that means it's all buy candles, right? That means it's going up. It's bullish, right? Okay. So the opposite of a buy is a buy. I'm sorry, what was that? The opposite of a buy is what? A sell. All right, so the sell, the, that opposite is the correction. So if you identify the impulse for, <clears throat> for a bullish, <clears throat> basically going up in a buy, then the correction, you're going to jump in for 10 pips on the sell. And if it's going down, if it's, if it's basically going down and it's bearish, if the impulse is all sell candles, Opposite of a sell is what? A buy. A buy. So you basically go into, you're going to enter on the correction, which is a buy. So all you're doing is entering on the correction, the opposite direction of the trade. Now, so, some so people. If I, have, if I have a buy in place, let's say after 80 pips hit and I put an entry, um, and a correction is getting started, then I should go into a sell now, is what you're saying? No. So. First thing you're going to do is you're going to identify. You're going to identify the impulse. So the impulse is how many pips? Uh, 70 to 100. There you go. So if you're sitting and, you, and you're looking at your chart and you see that it's going up, all by candles, and you find out, you say, okay, it, it basically met my, my range. It's at 70 pips, right? Uh-huh. So you decide at that moment... You're going to enter as a sell for the 10 pips. Because that's the opposite of what it's doing. Does that make sense? No, I'm still confused on it. Okay, you're going to get it. So, okay. I have a you, so, I'm so here, here's the thing. You, so, if, if, if something's going up, right? If the, if the trade is going up, 
the impulse is going up. Mm -hmm. It's shooting up. It's just shooting up, right? You're not in the trade then. You're just sitting waiting, right? Okay. And when it reaches your margin, when it reaches your margin of going up at the 70 to 100, you're going to go in as a sell. You're going to catch it going back down. Okay. Okay. You, is that a kiss okay. moment? So if, if it were going down, then eventually it has to come up. So there we'll you put go. It in as a buy. There you go. Kiss. That's a kiss yeah. moment, right? Yes. <laughs> There you Thank go. You. Just think about it. Newton's law. Every action have a reaction, right? Yes. You know, you have people say it all the time. What goes up must what? Must come down. Then what goes down must do must what? Go up. That's all I'm doing. I'm keeping it the kiss moment. Just keep just keeping it simple. David. Go ahead. Is that considered a, a counter trend? So so now, so when I first started the strategy, I, I promise you, you know, they tell you, <laughs> you know, when you're doing something right, people not talking about you, that means you're not doing nothing right. So when I first started this and I was, you know, I brought it, you know, I back tested it, but when I brought it, you know, when I was calling trades for people, everybody used to laugh. They used to be like, man, what, what is this dude doing? Like the trend is an uptrend and he's entering for a sell but they didn't understand what I was looking at. You see what I'm saying? So sometimes it doesn't have to be a trend. You know, everybody say, everybody say the trend is your friend, which in the trend is your friend, but if you're looking for something in particular, you know, then basically, you know, it, you just have to stick with it. So I, I basically, some, when you trade an impulse, all indicators, everything, doesn't mean nothing. I'm just shooting for my 10 pips correction. So it doesn't have to be a, a certain trend that it's going. You know, I just jump in and I catch my 10 pips on the correction because I know that I know that I know is about to correct. Does it make sense? Yes. Thank you. All right. Now keep in mind, the trend is your friend. If you're trading consolidation, then yeah, the trend is your friend. You know, but like I said, I just stick with the simple the simple stuff I'm looking for. I'm looking for consecutive candles, and it has to be consecutive. You, if, you, if, if you have one opposite candle that messes it up, then that impulse doesn't happen. So before we had the impulse scalper, you would see us you know, saying, hey, watch out, impulse is about to happen at certain, this particular number. And then all of a sudden, another, uh, maybe if it was going up, if, if it was a bullish impulse being created, then you may have had, we may have had a sell candle that come in and mess it up before the 70 picks. All right, so basically, you know, the impulse, you just have to stick to 70 to 100. And another thing too, you know, let's just say, for example, we say 70 to 100 pips. Let's just say it goes to 100 pips, right? And I told you, remember I told you, and you're also gonna back test this, right? Yeah. That Every time it hits 70 pips, it's going to impulse. I mean, it's going to correct. So if something's going to correct at 70 pips and it went to 100 pips, what, did, what does that tell you? Even, even Kalani knows. That means you can probably catch more than the 10 pips. You can catch probably 30 to 40 pips because you know on the 70 is going to correct 10 pips. All right? Does that, does that help anybody out? So, so on, so on the correct, like you said, if it passes the seventy, and you, and it keeps going to eighty or hundred, technically you get in right when the next candle starts up. Yeah. Is that right? You don't have to wait on the next candle, but uh -huh. if you get, if you get the the bearish or the bullish alert from the indicator, then the next candle is what we're gonna shoot for. Uh -huh. Gotcha. So I, gotcha. Have, uh, I have a question. So okay. you said that if um, she's beautiful, by the way, <laughs> you said that um, if if it gets all the way to a hundred pips and you knew it was going to impulse when it hit the seventy, then you can catch more pips. So my question is, do I 
enter another trade or what do I do if I entered when it hit 70 pips for the correction then and I see that it gets to 100 what is my process like what am I supposed to do when I realize I can catch 30 more pips or whatever just be patient one trade at a time don't be greedy so I wait until the trade I'm I got into hits and how do I catch the extras go in again the mark now nah, the market is here five days a week 24 hours a day so if you want to wait what I would do is instead of jumping in at 70 maybe wait till us at 80 or 90 sometimes you may miss out on the correction by doing that but I don't want you to, to basically go get too much trades you need to be in one trade at a time unless you actually can leverage and sustain you know 500 pips with two trades running so sometimes people cut their lot size in half just to protect themselves in case that happened. So let's just say, for example, if you was, if you was actually going to trade 20 cents, right? And if you, if you want to do that, I mean, remember, remember 90% of trading is what? Your mindset. There you go. So if you, so with that game plan, would you just, with your ax skin, that's a good game plan if you leverage right. So if you want to do that, you know, what, instead of you trading, let's say you were supposed to trade 20 cents, maybe you can trade 10 cents. And if it does that, then you can twin trade it and catch more pips on the way to it. Okay. So it, Does that make sense? That makes a lot of sense. I guess I'm just still trying to understand what, if I get in and I set my take profit, at 10 pips on the correction then i don't see how i could catch the extra pips without doing that like because it's gonna i have to wait for it to correct and hit my take profit and i went in at seven pips i'm just trying to figure out if there's a way for me to catch more pips by yeah you you actually can catch more what are, the reason i would tell you do the half lot size if that's what you want to do is to protect yourself i want to make sure you protect your account okay. yes you can you can definitely get in, in in more trades and catch all of that so like if you went in at 70 pips and then it went to 100 pips so now you're what 30 pips negative right and you wanted to enter at that 100 pip mark and catch the 40 pips down you can mm -hmm. do that if you leverage right i don't want you to do it and then you blow, uh, blow your account or you over leverage. I want you to protect your account. So I would be more comfortable with you just waiting it out with one trade and catching 10 pips than to twin trade it. And now instead of you, you being in one trade with that lot size that you were using, you have more, more in your lot size that you, should, you, should, you shouldn't be using. And then if something, if we get hit with double news, or, you know, it goes, continues to go up for a while and then corrects. I don't want you to blow your account. Most of the time people do that, they blow their account. They call that twin trading. Okay. Twin trading can be pretty good if you leverage right. Okay. All right. Thank you. So, so yeah, I would do that if you leverage, if, you, if your account is leveraged to the T and you can sustain so much pips, then yeah, why not? Okay. And so when you made that statement, that was really what you were talking about was a twin trade? When you said that you could catch thirty or forty, yeah, yeah, okay. you can twin trade it and catch the, you can catch the forty. Okay. Um, the full impulse. Thank you so much. No problem. Next question. Hey, David. Hey, David. Just Go ahead. I I have a question. Um, how long has it been taking for um the profit to hit after the correction? Man, sometimes it's in seconds. Sometimes it could be seconds. Sometimes it could be minutes. The longest correction I've ever seen was probably maybe two days. And that was the reason it was two days is because it happened over the weekend. Okay, babe. Because it happened over the weekend and we had to wait it out. But nine times out of ten, it's happening within the next couple, couple minutes on an impulse. So David, what you're saying, I just want to make sure that I'm, I'm clear. What you're saying is to, once it reaches the 70 pips, go in in the opposite direction. Let's just say it's going up, go mm -hmm. in, go in for a buy, 
once it hits 70 pips at a lot no, of if, it, if it's going up if it's going up once it reaches 70 pips going up you're going to go in for a going sell for a sell excuse me yeah going yeah. for a sell but be prepared if it continues to go up for another 10 or 20 pips that's why we want to be leveraged correctly yeah because it may can still go up but it is going to correct yes it is going to correct it Got is it. so even if you just stay in there you know it's going to correct right so for and that's the, where all of, that's all where the leverage and power suggest, plays a, a, go, yeah, go ahead you suggest going at, for all the new traders would you suggest going in at you know, this first week that we that we do this impulse off of the uh, off of the signals. I mean, when it comes out next week, mm -hmm. going at a half a lot size, just to a half a lot size of what the spreadsheet is. Or is if you're a new trader, if you're new, if you're a new trader, I suggest you do a few days demo first, even Got when it. when it comes out. Got Hang it. with it. Okay. Once you once you demo, you can never go wrong with demo. See and. You know, when I, when I tell people, you know, people, you, you hear a lot of people say, you need to trade, trade your demo like it's your live account, right? Yes. Nine times out of ten people don't do it. When I, when I say trade your demo like it's your live account, pull in, put in the realistic number you're going to put in, you know, in your live account. And then I want you to double or triple that account, leveraging it the right way. If you do that, when you go live, nothing changes. You're going to make money. But what, what people tend to do is, they go demo, they're going to throw a couple thousand in there in the demo account, and then they're going to start, you know, putting lot sizes in there that they shouldn't have, you know, and then all of a sudden they may double or triple their account, and then they feel like, hey, I'm ready to go live. You didn't do it the right way. So right. you do trade the demo. If you can double or triple your demo account leveraging the right way like you're supposed to, and then you double or triple that account, then you then ready to go live. You know, and, and you just have to understand the market is not going going anywhere. This market is here to stay. Got it. That's a kiss moment for me. Thanks. Hello. Hey David, I got a question. Go ahead. Yeah, so I'm um, hearing all this. And so like when you when you when you see let's say the the, the, the signal comes in because you know red line is crossing, you know, above the blue, and then that means it's going for a buy. So that means I'm going in there. I got to look so, at the chart, right? Oh, 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 what, what to do, Henry? On that yeah. question, let's save that question for tomorrow on the consolidation. Ah, got it, got it. Okay. Let's, let's yeah, save that I'm, one like, I'm trying to think, like, hold up. <laughs> yeah, let's, let's save that one for the consolidation because, hold on a second, please. Malik, can you hold it real quick, please? Let me finish this call. Sure. I got some, I got, I got some backup. One second, y'all. Let me, let me finish this off. Just watch it real quick. Put water over there. I'll be right back. All right, guys. So, yeah, Henry, I want you to save that question for tomorrow on consolidation. Because the way we scalp, I scalp two ways. I scalp consolidation and I scalp impulse. So what we're going over right now is actually the impulse. All right? So but yes, I know sir. exactly what you're, what you're talking about when you're talking about the lines, all right? Yeah, because I'm more concerned of like when I get the alert and I'm pretty good with you know uh, taking a look at my phone so when I get the alert and I jump right into the trade and I know it's going for a buy like I basically want to know like um, a walkthrough of like what what do you do what do you look for first like number one I go into my chart and I look for this boom 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 and then number two I look you know what I mean um, okay so, just, so i jumped in in my demo a couple times but then I, it went the other way but i was leveraged properly so i, I caught it coming back and it did hit the, the tp like you said okay so okay yeah so what to do uh you got some back can you mute yourself let me answer it so yeah was that i think that's paul can you mute that person okay there you go i still have some noise who's that Okay, then we're good now. So I'm going to use that same scenario, Henry, but I'm going to use that with the impulse. Like I said, the consolidation, we'll tap into consolidation tomorrow. So if you get, so here's, here's the, the thing. So since we're talking about the alerts, if you get the alerts and it says, you know, so we, we went over 
We went over what is an impulse. What are you identifying to be an impulse? And what are you doing? You, you're jumping in for the correction. Okay? So you know what an impulse is now. So now what's going to happen is you're going to get an alert that says bearish or bullish. Now, if you ran into the academy, somebody tell me what does bullish mean? So unmute yourself or type in the chat. What does bullish stands for? Stop. Bye. Bye. Uh, bullish. So that means it's, 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 it's bullish. going up. It's, it's going up. A bull run. What is, and bearish stands for what? It's going down. Downward. Downward. All right. So you're going to get an alert that says it's going to call up whatever pair that it's using. It can be GJ, it could be US 30, it could be whatever. It's going to say bullish alert. Look to sell. Just think about it. Think about it. Write it down if you got a piece of paper and pen. We just said that bullish means it's going up, and we said that bearish means it's going down. Now, you know what the impulse means. The impulse means it goes up consecutive candles, 70 to 100 pips, you're entering on the correction. Close your eyes if you have to. And we say if it's going down 70 to 100 pips, that's an impulse. You're going to go in as a correction, as a buy. Okay, so you know that's what the impulse is. Now we're saying that bullish means it's going up. Bearish means it's going down. So the alert is going to say bullish alert. Look to sell. Think about what it means. It's telling you it's going up, so look to sell. The impulse is going up. Look to sell. It already identified the impulse going up. Look to sell. If it says bearish alert, that means it's going down. So bearish alert, look to buy. Bearish alert, it's going down. Look to buy. Correction is the opposite of what it's telling you. So when you get that notification, the next candle, because we're on the 15-minute time frame, when you get the notification, the next candle, you're going to jump in for what it tells you. It's gonna, the next candle then is going to say buy or sell. So you're going to get bullish or bearish alert first, and then on that next candle on the 15-minute time frame, then you're going to go ahead and jump in when it tells you to buy or sell. We, we're probably going to change that number. So. There you go. We're yeah, gonna do so, what, Kubo? So, we'll we'll just get the bearish or bullish alert, mm -hmm. and then uh, since we're training people on what to do, it'll probably say get in, know. On, get in on the next candle, and then you should know to take your your ten pips. So we'll take candle. away that second notification. Correct. Perfect. So you guys got that? When it says bear bullish alert or bearish alert. Basically, it's going to tell you to look to get in on the next candle. And that's when you get in. So if I'm sitting there, and this is a true story. Me and Paul's on the phone talking today, and he's like, oh, there goes another one. So we, it was a bearish or it was a bullish one of them. It have to be one of them, 50-50, right? But it was on US 30. And we were like, oh, we got six minutes to wait. And we waited six minutes. We talked on the phone. We waited six minutes. And I told you guys in, the, in, in my telegram, I say, hey, in five, six minutes, get ready. So this thing is going to be so powerful if you, if you learn it the right way. Because, yes, we do have eight pairs, right? And if they all come in at the same time, guess what? It's hard for you to jump in all these trades at the same time. But check this. If you get the notifications on the bearish and bullish, you know that it's the next candle, the next 15 minute candle is what you're gonna jump in. So technically, if we get three pairs that say, hey, one is bearish alert, look to buy, if one, another pair says bullish alert, look to sell, and another one pair say whatever, you can have those three pairs on your computer ready to go on the next 15 minute candle. And once they go, bam, 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 three pairs, just like that. Leverage correct. Leverage is going to be key. So even if you have to cut those lot sizes down and catch both of the trades, that's okay. But you're going to have ample time. 
you're going to have ample time to actually jump into that trade because we're going off of the 15 minute time frame. Are y'all getting what I'm saying? Oh, uh, uh, crystal clear. So, David, I want to clarify. Uh, so, basically, yes, you're saying as soon as we get that first alert from there, there's the timer basically saying that in the next 15 minutes, it's going to tell. It doesn't you, have to be the full hey, 15 minutes, it's just the next 15 minute okay. candle. Okay. So, you can have okay. three minutes left on it because remember, the impulse scalper is scanning for impulses. So, the candles may be shooting up. And then it may be two minutes before the next candle, and it identifies the impulse from the margins, and bam, it gives you the alert. Look to buy or bearish alert, look to buy on the next candle. So it can it can be 10 minutes, it can be 15 minutes, who knows? It can be one minute. But you're gonna have ample time. It's not gonna do it instantly on the same candle. But the reason why we have to train this is. What if it retraces before the next candle? Are y'all with me? So this is why you still want to know what you're looking for. Because if you don't know what an impulse look like, it can retrace. And when you get in the next candle, it already corrected itself. Are y'all getting that? Yes, sir. All right. Got it. Got it. All right. Any other questions on the impulse? Trust me, man, this is simple. This is like kindergarten trading one-on-one. -on -one. That's why I call it KISS. Should have called it strategy KISS. But it's simple once you see it. Once you identify it, then, and guess what? If you don't see it, it's all right. Just go back test. You know, when I do one-on-ones, I basically give them homework. You know, I had a few people, you know, that I did one-on-ones with. And I said, okay, now we're done. I need you to go find me about 20, 30 impulses because you can look back in the market all day long. For weeks, for years, you can look back. And I say, go find me 20 impulse, screenshot it, identify where it's at, and send it to me. You can do that. So your homework is to go and identify some, some impulses. Go identify some impulses. If you want, we have an interaction interaction group. You can, I mean, that'll be a lot of pictures, but go and, you know, identify. If you qu have questions on it, go screenshot it. You can do it on your phone. You can do it on your laptop. Just practice. Find consecutive candles, buys or sells. 70 to 100 pips. You can use the ruler. You know, I used to count it in my mind before I even used the ruler. All right. Any questions? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Go, ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, my question is, once I see the 70 pips, right, 70 to 100, okay, uh, when it reach 70, you said that I should get up, get in on the next candle, correct? Mm, if, okay, if we're going off of the indicator, I would say when you get the alert, when I get the done, bearish or bullish, then you wait on the next candle. Once right. you kind of get more, you know, experience in it, then what I would want you to do is you can jump in because you can jump in on the same candle as, that it's impulsing. Sometimes it'll, it'll correct on that same candle. Okay. Okay. So for I'm now, for now, what I want you to do is when you get the notification in the tele in the in, uh, impulse scalper. You're going to wait for the next 15-minute candle, and then you're going to enter on that correction. Okay. Thank you. All right. Oh, and, and, and the reason I, you know, I, want, I, I wanted to, to show you guys or, or train you how to identify it. So even if you don't have the impulse scalper, you can still scalp, scalp the market on impulses. Okay? But the impulse scalper is to simplify things, not just simplify it. But take, take your, your whole time from looking at charts all day long to basically getting the notification or text message and bam. You jump in and you know that because if you know that you know that you know that you know that you know. Can't say guarantee, but it's pretty darn close to guarantee that you get a notification, you're going to make some money. 
that takes you out of that takes you out of looking at charts all day long and just waiting. Now it's gonna make you a lazy trader, but I still want you to know why you're getting a notification. It's gonna give you back a lot of time throughout the day. Even though you want to make all this money in the market, you will enjoy spending it. Yes, no pizza. Any pizza. Question, Mr. GJ. Uh, which are there certain pairs that this impulse works like does it is that U, us 30 uh um, gold are there certain pairs that you know that i can that i you can spit out right now or is that something that just you need to just kind of hold on to right now paul paul mute david <laughs> well he he basically answered himself with the question <laughs> um, <laughs> so what we're doing right now is is um, still tweaking the numbers. Um, so there's no numbers we can give out so far um, because um, I, I could change them anytime depending on uh, what I see and what I test. So for now, the numbers that we can say for sure are the GJ numbers because that's what David has done for over a year. Um, the, with the new pairs, we're still testing. Um, and so we can't give out numbers yet. So what we want to use the impulse scalper um, to do is just to alert you that this has been identified as a potential impulse. So get ready to um, jump in. And once, um, yeah, once, once we have the numbers for sure, and we're just trying to protect you guys. So, you know, you don't, we don't want you guys jumping in stuff that um, yeah. we're not sure of. Hey, sure. I appreciate um, it. Yeah. Can I uh, get in here with a quick question? Uh, well, this is for either David or Paul. Um, are the two indicators that you usually were using, the RSI and the, um, the Iki um, Muku uh, <laughs> Cloud, are those um, considered in the algorithm of the software or is it just the uh, impulse? Uh, yeah. <laughs> we can't tell you what's considered in the algorithm. Oh, okay, okay. I'm, but, I'm just wondering, is it, does it have something to do with the... But the like David the said, the, the impulse strategy, he doesn't look at any indicators. Okay, all right. Yeah, it's, it's the consolidation, yeah. which will... The consol tomorrow. Yeah, and so tomorrow when we go over the consolidation, you'll understand there's a few in, uh, few notifications on the impulse scalper that works along with the Ikimoku cloud. Uh and you can catch pips off of those too. So tomorrow we'll go okay. over that aspect of it. All but right. I mean, like we, this this stuff there, like we put in some time, we put in a lot of money in investing in this. I mean, we have two, I mean, I could say it, but we have two hidden like trading view indicators. Like this stuff is like for real, for real. These indicators are like for real. We spent a lot of money and a lot of time on this. So this ain't no, you know, one week stuff we just want to bring out. Like we spend me weeks and months and back testing and lawyers and like this is the whole nine yards. Like, you know, this is this is serious. So, hey. but there, you know, I think in the future we are looking at you know releasing the name. It's hidden right now in Trading View, but we are you know thinking about really. There's so much more we have in this that this is just a teaser. You know, you guys are getting excited from what you have now. But this is this is like a small, you know, teaser of what, what actually is in this whole package of this vision, you know, me and Paul have. I mean, this is nothing. No, I mean, me and Paul talk every day about 10 to 15 times a day. 10 to 15 times a day. And it's just ideas, you know, that we're putting together and we, we run with it, you know. And uh, it's just to make sure that we have a, you know, first it was more or less to say we wanted the money team to be consistently profit and make, you know, because, you know, you would retain your organization and the more people that successful, you know, around you, the more successful you become. But then it just blowed up and, you know, we have legacy. We have, you know, everybody right now. There's folks in Greece, you know, Australia. There's so many folks right now that's jumping on this, I mean, that knows the info strategy. I tell you, I get messages every single day between YouTube and Telegram and Facebook and Instagram on lives being changed just off of something so simple. You know, I had a lady that was basically 79, 79 years old, knows this impulse strategy. It's like color in a book. 
you know, you could mark your margins and bam, you draw a line and you count to 80 or you count to 70. It's so simple. You know, so that's that was mainly what we wanted to do. Make it so simple that anybody, once you understand it, you know how to make money. You just have to be patient. And the patient we had, what I was telling everybody was, hey, be patient for GJ impulses. Now, man, you ain't got patience. You got to try to get in these trades because they spitting out, spitting out fire, like 10 pips here and there. Like, like I said, we all, it's so much, you guys, you don't know yet. But just keep in mind with what we have going on right now is going to get you to be consistently profitable in the market. With, the, with what you have now. But we still want to incorporate the whole strategy, leveraging right. You know, leveraging right, making sure everything is good. All right? Hey, yeah. is ETA for okay. the drop? I don't know. Real, real Next quick week, question. So, so uh, uh, let me answer that, because I know we have a lot of people that's on the edge of their seats wanting to know. So me and Paul, we, we decided that next week we will just open it up to all active IML members. The money team every week has access to it. Every week the money team will have access to it because I have to protect them. But next week we're going to officially release it to every active IML member. All right? You know, now, you know, and that's just for one week, a one-week access, you know, and then from there we can, you know, do, you know, like we have a training in, and for a lot of deal that week we may probably give it to them i mean it's, we just have so much stuff we could do because you know we're still kind of you know adding more stuff to it like i said uh, the next step for us now is to take me and paul out of the equation on add and take profits in there and that's where the training is going to come in we have to train you guys so you can know exactly when you get that alert when you get the next candle you could jump in and you don't have to wait on me to put a take profit now you get a better end because the market is moving up and down. So why sit and wait? Why jump in the trade that you got and then sit and wait for me to put a take profit in when you can do it yourself? So that's where the training is going to start coming with, uh, with this scalper strategy, with the impulse scalper, so you can get that alert, get in the next cam, have a basically close to perfect entry, and make your ten, get your 10 pips in and out. When you can do that and don't have to rely on me or Paul to put in a take profit, that's, that's even better. But the next uh, steps is for the programmer for us to have him put uh, take profits and entries in uh, on this alert. Um, I have a question. I don't know if that's something that's going to be included in tonight's training, but I noticed with um, US 30, the numbers are a little different. So how do you calculate the pips on that one? So I think what's in the, uh, the uh, Andre asks the same thing. Right now, we're just going to stick with GJ numbers okay. because we're still kind of working on all the pairs. Okay. But just know once you get that impulse uh, bearish or bullish alert, all of them are already identified as an impulse. We just we want to get it to protect you guys where we get the best entry possible. Now, there's no such thing as a perfect entry, but if we can get you as close as possible with hardly any drawdown, you know, that's what, we, that's what we're looking for. But uh, we, we, we haven't, we're not going to release those yet. But, you know, once you get that alert, you know, it's basically a, an impulse for you. But that, uh, the, the oil and the uh, US-30, they are technically different. Okay. I have right. a uh, question uh, on that, too, with the different pairs that are coming in. Um, it's still going to be a 10 pip. Um, um, 10 pips and 10 dip. 10 pip and dip, even for the, for the new pairs. Every pair, 10 pips and dip. That's my, that's my favorite thing I got from Dr. K. We used to 10 pip and dip with coffee. I don't even drink coffee. And I, every morning I used to go on Dr. K training, and I would, you know, if she didn't have a coffee, I would ask her about a coffee. Yeah. You know, and I would always say, hey, you come, when you come to the Bahamas, she thought I lived in the Bahamas, and I was in Dallas the whole time. But, yeah, 10 pips and dip. That's, I stole that from Dr. K. Oh, we, we sharing that now. But 10 that's pips true. and dip. All right, and then one more question. We want to be in and out of the market. Remember, we're scalpers. Yeah. So we want to catch now, you know, you, 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 we have Jen, where Jen can throw the fib on there. But, you know, we're going to probably, you know, introduce that more, you know, down the line. But for now, for me, I want to stick to 10 pips. I want to be in and out of the market quick. 
I don't want to be stressed out. I don't want to be gray hair. I want to get that money and get out. All right. I read one more, one, one last question, David. So I heard you talking about the alerts that you would get with the um, impulse, uh, the new, the new um, impulse scalper. Um, you know, before with the Mr. GJ VIP alerts, it would also put, you know, you would get the alert, but then you would also get a, like a buy now, sell now. Um, is that still so going to be a part of it? What we're going to do, what we're going to do, me and Paul was talking about it. You know, what we're going to do now, keep in mind, all of them hit, everything hits, but for the, for, for, for so many people that's waiting to jump on this and we have to train this stuff like this is now going to be, we have to train it because you can't just come in this alert, you know, this, uh, uh, getting this alert, this impulse scalper and think you can just jump in and don't know what you're doing. Because if a person comes in thinking that, okay, when they get the bullish or bearish alert, right then jump in, they can possibly lose their money. Right. Because that's not how we design this program to work. Okay, so with that, what we, what we decided to do, because we added, if we just had GJ and GJ alone, we would have kept that on there. But uh, me and Paul, well, Paul, you know, Paul, he said, he told me, he said, this is what I think is best. And, Whatever you go with, man, we good team. We work together. So, you know, I trust him. He trusts me. He said, let's take it out. So the regular buys and the sales, you don't have to worry about anymore. Now, elite traders, we still have it in there right now. But next week, we're going to take it out. So the only thing you're going to have is bearish and bullish alerts. That's going to protect everybody and make sure you go straight in, you know, to, into profits. Does that make sense? So you don't yeah, have to worry about those ones. Now I'm thinking we may keep the lines lines crossing, right, Paul, on consolidations. I think just on GJ, right? Yeah, just on GJ, because I mean we've kind of tested to see that there's a way to capitalize on that. Perfect. So yeah, on GJ, you guys see the lines crossing below and above. We'll keep that as take basically the TK cross from the cloud. You know, and we'll show you guys how to catch, you know, Crips off of that tomorrow. Uh, but, yeah, we wanted to simplify it and not have the app, not the app, but the program, the Impulse Scalper. We didn't want it to be too busy. It's already busy with a lot of trades, but we didn't want it to be too busy, if, that, if you know what I mean. So we, we pulled that one out for you guys, uh, Valesco. All right, man. Thanks, David. No so problem. All the calls are going to be bullish and bearish calls, GJ? Everything gonna be bullish and bearish, and, and the lines crossing, but bullish and bearish is where we do what? Eat. So we make some money. That's where we make the money. That's where we make the money. So I'm telling I'm you, man. Right. I'm telling you, like it, it's 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 really is. I mean, this is gonna be. We're gonna see so many people double and triple their accounts in in weeks, sometimes days. I mean, this is crazy. Question. Go ahead. Yeah. Quick question. Actually, it's for, for you or Paul. Someone had a, a quick question, and it was uh, when people join the PIP walking community, how long does it take uh, usually to get approved? Uh, it just depends on how busy we are that day. I mean, it's, we just look at the phone, and we got to go through it and press approve. Sometimes I check it two, three times a day, but we got so many people that's getting added to it. Uh, maybe a day or two, right, Paul? Let's say a day for now. Uh, but yeah, give us a day. Yeah. Sounds good. Because we remember, because, and then we have, you know, we try to answer a lot of questions in that too. We try to take a day. I brought a day, and me and Paul usually double teams it. If he's looking at it, he'll go through and answer and clear it out. And then if, you know, I'm looking at it, I'll go through and, and clear it up also. Let me, uh, I saw a question in there, somebody, in, I heard a lot of people asking this too, about how much this is going to cost. This is not going to cost at nothing right now. As long as you're active with IML, you're going to have access to it. Now, keep in mind, we're, you know, at this point, you know, we're in here, building, you know, like I said, I'm, we're shooting for chairman also. So at some point, you know, we say we take it out for a week to, to use it to build our team, which is the money team, then, yeah, we may take it out, take it away from everyone and use it to, to promote and build the money team or, you know, sometimes Randy, we use it for legacy. Who knows, you know, but, you know, right now, I, you know, we, me and Paul, he spent numerous hours. We spent thousands of dollars. This is strictly Mr. GJ and, you know, Paul. Paul is actually the VP. 
He's actually the VP of Mr. G B Mr. GJ Pip Walken. So you know <laughs> like this is this is really serious. Like so, you know, right now we're building. You know, we want to we help IML to hit the 1 million customers also. So it's not going to be no more freebies. You know, you have to be active, you know, with IML. And, you know, some weeks if we do a promo where, you know, we say, hey, do a shout out on social media or, you know, you donate to the charity. That may be every now and then. Or if we do an event, we may give those folks at the event first dibs and priority to that. You know, like where uh, we have an event in, in Fort Lauderdale uh, with the 2% Nation the end of this month. You know, so we're thinking of doing something special for them where they have access to that that week or who knows. So, you know, don't get mad. You know, we have some folks that would send dirty messages and make it seem like it's a must that we have to give it out. You know, this is tons of money that we actually invested, you know, in a lot of time that nobody paid us nothing for it. So, you know, it's, it's going to be most of the time, 85% of the time, it's going to be for all active IML members. That's just what, we, what we're doing. We're not going to charge nothing for it. But that 15% of the time, we use that to basically back test some other pairs or to help our money team folks to promote their, you know, building or, you know, get them signed up so they can, you know, get two and free or have a free uh, uh, membership or, you know, you know, rank up. Then, you know, just, just go with go the flow. You know, learn the impulse, and even if it's away for a couple of days, you still can actually, you know, trade the impulse. You don't need this to trade the impulse. This is just making it simpler, you know, where you don't have to look at your phone, and you have a bunch of pairs all at once. But, uh, but yeah, so is that question in there? I heard that question run around a couple of times a day, you know, and right now our intentions is not to charge anybody nothing. You know, the, the intentions is basically for us to get an IML TV, and basically for this to be an IML product. Now, that's our goal, you know, so that's our ultimate goal and we're using the plans right now to actually get it there. But, you know, right now, if you're active, that's our thing, you, you have access to it, all right? So you don't have to, you know, start spreading rumors, you know, saying, oh, they're gonna charge this or charge that. Look, man, I'm all about helping people. Anybody that's been following me or that know me, I'm straight about helping folks. So if I can help you be consistent and make money in the market consistently, that's what it's about. I will, will get, you know, where we want to go. All right. So hopefully I was able to answer that question on anybody else that, uh, that anybody else wanted. Now, what I would like for you to do since you guys have free access to it is hashtag impulse scalper, hashtag Mr. GJ on IMO TV. And guess what? You will have this in your package. And you won't have to worry about that. But, you know, you guys got to, we help you, you got to help us. So, you know, the ultimate goal is to basically get there. So, you know, when I'm telling you the hashtag uh, uh, Impulse Scalper, it's so we can reach out, to, you know, so Christopher Terry can see what this thing is doing. Like, you know, this is actually changing lives. So that's all we really ask for. And, you know, what you guys have an access to it is basically promoting it and helping us. If we're helping you make money and we're putting all this time and energy and helping you guys you know, be consistently and understand how to trade. It shouldn't take a couple of seconds for you to hashtag, you know, impulse scalp or hashtag Mr. GJ next IMO TV. If you think we deserve it, if y'all think we deserve it, then you you can do it. If not, don't waste your time on on on, on hashtagging it. But that's really what it is, you know, the ultimate goal. All right. Do we have any other questions? Yeah, I got a couple questions. Go ahead. Um. What do you think about trading as far as at the beginning of the week and the end of the week as far as the market just opening like Sunday uh, as far as are there impulses coming through and Friday as far as like impulses coming through but possibly not hitting until like Monday or whatever and holding those trades over the weekend? Uh, so that's a few questions in one. First thing I would say is for me personally, my best times trading is Wednesdays and Thursdays. That's that's my two favorite days. You know, uh, Sunday the market just opens up. You know, so it's, it, it it usually don't catch itself. You know, from the gaps. You know, over the weekend, and uh, Monday is starting to pick up. Tuesday is pretty solid into 
you know, Tokyo session into London. But Wednesday and Thursdays is, is usually my high profit in days, and Thursdays is when I like to withdraw. All right, so that was kind of one question you answer. Now, on the impulses, really, truly, it doesn't, impulses doesn't happen on a particular day. You just have to actually go in and check the news for that particular week, and you can actually, you can know which day you have a, a high chance of having an impulse. So nine times out of 10, if you look at, you know, Forex Factory, or you can go to Mr. GJ Pibwalking.com and go into, uh, you know, uh, for, uh, Forex Resources. It has economic calendar there. It has Forex Factory, and you can check the news for that particular week. You can make alert, and you say, hey, you know, uh, you're going to have a lot of news on Tuesday. So let me get ready. I may see a bunch of, you know, uh, uh, impulses on Tuesday, you know, or this, this Friday is going to be NFP. You know, there's going to be a lot of impulses on Friday. You know, I technically technically don't like to to uh, trade Sundays and Fridays, but with this new scalping, uh, impulse scalper, I've been trading, you know, on, on, on Fridays with it. Uh, but, yeah, you know, so I think that was, you know, the next question. Uh, also, holding over the weekend. So that's kind of a bittersweet. If it's an impulse, remember, you backtest it, it's going to correct. All right. Over the weekend, I don't like holding trades over the weekend just because you have no control of the gaps. All right. And the reason I say you have no control over it, let's just say right now, if you're holding a trade and all of a sudden news comes out and it starts to shoot in one direction, you have the option to go and close that trade out if you want to. Over the weekend, you have no choice. You come back on Sunday and bam, you have no choice. All right. So I think that answered those three questions for you. Did that help? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That definitely helped. As far as the news, like, uh, where do you mostly see impulse? Do you see impulses on uh, medium folders or just high folders? Uh, or red, red, red folders is where it happens. Red folders? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And keep and in mind, too, you know, like, when you have Brexit going on, you know, uh, basically, then the prime minister open up a mouth, that used to create some impulse, you know. You know, when they have the votes, that would create impulse. Sometimes it doesn't have to be on Forex Factory or our economic calendar. It may just happen right then. So, you know, that's stuff we can't predict. You, we can't see it coming. I got, I got one, Dave. Real cool, quick. cool. Thanks. Uh, so, Dave, uh, well, thank, thank God this call has been nothing about, I mean, it's been all about trading because this is actually why I got, um, under you and you know my story i don't have to get too far into it but um pretty pretty soon um you know just like everybody else i'm gonna have to find um some people down here because like i already told you new orleans is so open it's like nobody really down here doing nothing on this type of level so i guess i'll just wait till this gets uh going you know i know you're so busy you know, maybe you can holler at me maybe next week or in two weeks about how to start getting some people underneath me because, you know, that's the other part of the business, you know. Yeah, we can uh, just hit me up tomorrow. We can we can get going tomorrow and start talking about that. Uh, when Just hit me up anytime and we'll, we'll chat. And we'll, right. we'll make some moves. You know, okay. my ultimate goal, you know, so, you know, just let me give you guys a brief story about me. I'm originally, I'm 31. Originally from the Bahamas, you know, I moved over here when I was 13, like any other teenager, I wanted to play, you know, in the NFL or the MLB, right? Professional sports. Um, came over here, you know, played baseball, football, went to uh, HBCU on a scholarship. After that, reality kicked in, you know, uh, I didn't make it. So, you know, I was always a hustler from back in the Bahamas, you know. I always wanted to make money. I always worked for hard for what I wanted. and uh, you know, fast forward, and you know, I, you know, I when when uh, my senior year in college, I was studying in, in, uh, electrical engineering, and basically, you know, the, the the president, the school had lost his accreditation, and the president came in and took all the scholarships away from the baseball students and football. So, I had to basically uh, start working at Chili's as a waiter, and while working at Ch Chili's, I got blessed, you know, by uh, I call this dude my real father, you know. He's, uh, you know, his name is Bobby Sadovnik. And what he, what he did was, uh, you know, he, he brought 
his office. He's a district manager for an insurance company that I'm a district manager for right now. And he brought his office in there on a lunch and he saw my hustle. It was like 30, 30 something, 40 something of them. And I waited on that table by myself. And anybody that worked in the, you know, in the restaurant industry, you guys know how tips work. And he tipped me a hundred bucks. And for me, that was a pretty big tip. You know, usually average tip was like, you know, five, 10 bucks, you know, a good tip on a good day was 20 bucks, you know, and uh, he tipped me a hundred bucks and tell me when, I, when I'm ready to work for him, when, when I'm ready to make some real money, come and work for him. Well, this was about 12 o'clock that day, three o'clock. I was in his office, application fill out, ready to go. You know, so, you know, I went in and um, hustled through, you know, in the insurance industry, they never knew nothing about insurance. And I work, I bust my tail off, man, working hours and, you know, people person helping folks. And, you know, I was 20 when, I, when he hired me. And basically at age 24, you know, is when I, when I, when I hit my first six figure income uh, year. And it was, you know, basically staying under his wing. Anything he told me to do, I would do if I like it or not, because I wanted to, you know, to, to have what he had, you know, and make as much money as what he, what he was making. You know, and I, he took me under his wing and basically he, he, he became more than a mentor to me. He basically uh, became a father figure, you know, you know, and uh, 24 years old, I was making six figures. So, you know, I've been around money, making money since I was 24, you know, now I'm 31, you know, so with this hair, you know, right now, you know, all I, you know, I do is I motivate folks, you know, you know, I, I train them, you know, I keep a district happy running, you know, I have, you know, multiple businesses I run, but my main thing is with this opportunity I, that, that we have in front of us right now, I have never, now keep in mind, I, I've always been there helping folks, you know, all the time, you know, I've always been a hard worker, but never in my life, I've really been able to help so many people just by knowing a skill and helping them all at one time. Do you know by calling the trade, we have over, over 1,300 people right now, and I've only been doing this for a year, and didn't know what I was getting myself into. And I can call a trade, and 1,300 people can profit and make money at the same time. Never in a lifetime I was able to do that. Now, I'm 31, so I'm still young. But never in a lifetime I was able to do that. So for me, that's where my passion is right now, helping so many people all at once. My goal, you know, I told Paul today, my goal for the month of May is to get our telegrams to over 5,000 people. But to help so many people all at once just by knowing a skill is what's getting me. And then on the flip side, I can make money the same time. Like everything I've done, I've had to put in some blood, sweat, and tears, you know, a lot of hard work into making the results, making the income that I made. But from a skill on my cell phone, on my laptop, I've never made as much money that I'm making now as easy as, as it is right now, if that's making sense. I've always had to put in so much time and effort, so much work, so much, you know, stress. But now it's like, I got the skill. All I need to do is use it. So regardless if I help people or not, I can make a ton of money trading. You know, but with it being able to help so many people, being able to help my country in the Bahamas, so many people all at once, I can be in Texas and they can be in the Bahamas and they get a trade. Or even right now, we got folks all over the world learning the strategy, but being able to help so many people all at once, this is the most powerful thing I've ever done. So my ultimate goal right now is to run as fast as I can and just continue to give in to you guys. The minute you see me hit Chairman 10, I will be retiring from uh, uh, basically making you know, over 200000 with my eyes closed. And people will look at me and say, okay, you're stupid. People don't make over 200000 in a lifetime. And I, and I can do that on a slow year, and I'm, I'm, I'm willing to walk away from that. And it's not because I have to. It's because now I see where I can help so many people. I wanna, my goal is to just travel around the world and train you guys on how to, how to, to, to scalp their impulse.
That's my ultimate goal and make $4,000 a day trading. That is my ultimate goal. So yes, I can't wait till I hit chairman so I can go and I can spend a week or two in New Orleans with you, William. I, yes, I can't wait to hit chairman 10. So Kenya, I could come with you, Helen, and Eunice, Mrs. GJ, she called, Miss, Mrs. GJ, I can't wait to hit chairman so I can come and spend a week or two weeks with you guys and train the whole community on how to trade the impulse because it's simple. I can't wait to travel, go to Fort Lauderdale, you know, Aurea, have a hold of two percent nation they have a big event you know a couple weeks two three weeks you know so you guys better you know that's going to be the first official big event that mr gj is going to do but that that is my ultimate goal and guess what you know when aria said hey what we got to do to get you in in our in fort lauderdale my only request for her was make sure paul okello is there if Ari is on this call she can unmute herself and contest that's what i said i didn't say i said I don't care what it is. Just make sure Paul is there. Because, yes, I came up with a strategy, but, man, I just throw, I throw so much work on Paul, and I don't know how he do it. But, I mean, he just takes it and runs with it. You know, so I think we have a good little team going on right now. You know, but, yeah, that's all I said. I said, make sure Paul is there, and I'm there. Whatever you need, I'm there. You know, so that, that's, that's my passion right now is to just travel around the world and train you guys on how, how to make money in this market with this simple strategy. And now that you're gonna have the info scalper in your hand, in the palm, palm of your hand, all we need to do is go around and train people how to scalp on the impulse and what to look for on the alerts. And mark my word, the goal for this month is to get the telegrams over 5,000. And that's what I wanna do by helping so many people. All right? I, I just went off, I, it was on my mind, sorry. If you didn't want to hear it, you heard it. No, I'm good. <laughs> Any questions? Any other questions? Yeah, Hoy, man, that's some real stuff, and I enjoyed that story, man. But um, my question is, is like, so you know, I'm pretty new at this, man, and I appreciate all the training that you're doing with me. How do I get the alerts and stuff like that? Do I just sign up with uh, IML? I meant to ask you that earlier when I called you. Yeah. So, oh, this is my now. Keep this in mind. Let me tell you. This is, this is my buddy, Andrew Louie. We went to, to high school together when I first moved from the Bahamas in my freshman year. We played Bahama football ball. freshman year. They used to call me Bahama Ball. And he just, he, he haven't even started with IML. He came, he jumped on the training yesterday. And he called me today and he was talking pips, lot size, you know, take profits. And I'm like, okay, yeah, he was on the training yesterday, but as simple as one day of just learning the terminology from the training we did yesterday, he's already understanding how this thing works. Now, he works with numbers all day long, but that's what I'm talking about, keeping it simple, where anybody can come in and actually learn the strategy. So to answer your question, so this week, uh, uh, Louis, we actually, I'm just calling the trades in my telegram, but next week is where the, the impulse scalper is going to be available to all active members. So once you, once you sign up with IML, then you will have access to the impulse scalper. And then, you know, we'll be working with you. So you, uh, I think we're supposed to meet uh, on, on Saturday with Sakina, right? Uh, Sunday. Sunday. So, I mean, either we, you can do it now before I think I sent you the link earlier. You know, you yeah. can do that. You know, tomorrow will be the consolidation training. But uh, basically what you have, man, is this is what it's going to be. So to have access to the impulse scalper, you know, which is going to give you the alerts to jump in the trades, you know, uh, starting on Sunday, you know, is, is, is when we'll probably have that available to everybody. We'll probably send out a form on Friday so people could uh, verify that they're active. And then uh, next week, you know, you know, it's, it's showtime. It's game, it's, it's, it's game time. I got you. I got you. Do I need to sign up for that IML TV also, or uh, the IML TV comes along with you signing up on the IML? Oh, so you right, still, right. so yeah, you still. And I still want you to watch some videos and the basics. So you, I'll, I'll guide you along the way on what, what, what steps you need to do once you sign up. I'll, I I'll you. get you in all the groups you need to be in. Also, all right, man. Appreciate it. All right. No problem, buddy. Welcome to the squad, Andrew. Ready to make this money, man. <laughs> man, you have no idea. You have no idea. Trying to get that. <laughs> Free life, you know. Definitely understand. Welcome, welcome to the team. Yeah, welcome to the squad. Appreciate it. Appreciate it.
appreciate it. David, I have Any a question. Yet? Hi, David. One quick question. All right, let me get this one first. We had Trey first, and now I'll get you, Diane. Okay. Okay, thank what, you. Um, I saw that U.S. oil was a real popular trade today that everybody took. So I'm just curious. Oh. I know. I know. I just, I'm curious. So what <laughs> news moves U.S. oil? Just USD? Uh, US, U.S. USD. We had some USD news come out, came out today. So USD, uh, U.S. news is going to affect uh, the U.S. pairs. Fed rate, you're talking about the Fed rate today. Say it again, Kevin. They were talking about the Fed rate. It stayed the same. They were expecting an increase, but it stayed the same. There you go. And then and that's probably uh, we had, why we had U.S. 30 moving, moving also. Okay. So, and this is why it's so powerful, you know, with the eight pairs we have. You know, and, you know, shout out, everybody, shout out to, you know, Mr. GJ Elite Traders, you know, is about seven of them, seven, seven of them, uh, Jennifer, Andre, Shanika, Linda, you got Paul, you got, you know, uh, I got a few more, Kip, uh, there's a few more, you know, but uh, they basically helped on back testing. they took the impulse strategy, and, you know, you know, we say, hey, can you know, this was our goal, remember now. Goes back to those goals we talked about. Life is about setting goals, you know. And the goal was to basically have more multiple pairs in here. And we, me and Paul, was like, hey, you know, can you guys, everybody, can you grab a pair? So and let me tell you how it started. We had done a VIP training for them. You know, what I had done where they was, uh, they had donated to the charity of that month. Or, you know, they did something. And, you know, I handpicked them. And I basically say, hey, you know, I'll give you guys a VIP training and we did it. I basically, they picked my brain. I said, whatever you guys need to know, you ask them. Y'all have me a seven, eight of you guys on here. We'll spend all day trying to figure it out. And we did that. And it was just supposed to be, you know, just a, a, a one or two day training. And I just decided to say, let's keep the group. And we just kept on going. And, you know, these are some experienced traders that took the impulse and they just ran with it. You know, Jen puts the fib on there, you know, Shanika, she, man, she could identify impulse with her eyes closed. You know, uh, Linda, she gets excited. I mean, Andre is the news guru. You ask anything about Brexit, they're, they're joking, they know everything about it. You know, so we, we, we kind of put together a team, but, you know, shout out to them because I said, hey, can you guys just pick a pair? Let's everybody pick a pair and let's use the impulse strategy and let's try to back test. And, uh, Let's, let's come up with your results. And everybody picked the, they picked the pair. Some pairs didn't work with the strategy, so they picked another pair. And, you know, I, I like to throw incentives out there. So I threw, the, threw an incentive out there last week, and I said, hey, guys, I said, I said me and Paul, we're going to go ahead and add more pairs to it. So I said, anybody that wants access, you know, to the – to the to the alerts this week, go ahead and screenshot 20 pairs that you are uh, back test. <laughs> Not 20 pairs, 20 impulses on your particular pair that you back test. And uh, we know they were going to do it. Uh, but I mean, in seconds, Shanika and Jen, they had theirs in like less than five, 10 minutes. And Shanika was like, she was like, I, I wasn't busy at work. And she dropped them 20 screenshots. And you know, that's how we were able to add the pairs a lot quicker you know, to the impulse capital from the help of the elite traders. So, you know, shout out to them. I appreciate it. You know, and they, they do the same thing I do. They give volunteer, you know, their selfishness, you know, to the group. If you notice, most of the time you guys are asking questions in the chat, you got Jennifer and Andre answering them. You know, Paul, they usually answering them. You know, if you unmute yourself, then I'll answer them. You know, so, I mean, we got a nice little, you know, team that we uh, – we created, you know, not created, it just form. It was, you know, it just happened. Uh, but, uh, but yeah, you know, but to answer your question, uh, Trey, it was uh, USD news happening. And that's why I'm glad we have multiple pairs because let's just say USD news are not, is not popping today. Guess what? We may get on some, you know, odd news. Hey, you do uh, Australia news or, you know, GBP news or, you know, something else. You know, and that's why we have a mixture of pairs so you can get a few impulse, you know, impulses every day. All right. Uh, who was that, Diane? You have the next you. question. 
Yes. Hi, David. Um, so I understand why uh, Paul said that he's afraid of the U.S. 30. So I tried to hop in on the trade today and it told me I didn't have enough money in the account. Do you know what is the minimum dollar account to trade in the U.S. 30? Just roughly. It doesn't have to be a specific figure. Uh, it depends first on what leverage you have on your broker. And then also, you know, I tell anybody, what you should do is try a demo first, play around with a demo first, and then, you know, you know, trade a penny. I would say a couple hundred dollars, but I wouldn't, you know, I would do demo first and, and practice it first. You know, even though it's hitting, you know, keep in mind, if you're not leveraged right, that sucker can blow your account quick. So, okay. you know, but it does depends on, you know, the leverage you have with your broker. The leverage you have set up with your broker, that's a factor. And then also, you know, you need to have the money in there. Okay. I am leveraged at, um, what is that, the 1 to 200? And I did play around with the, uh, the demo account today since I couldn't, like, actually uh, do an actual live trade. Okay. There you go. Uh, Shante, Shante uh, that's Dr. K, right-hand lady. She just put it in there, say, it's best uh, – it's best for 500 to be able to sustain a pullback on a penny. Basically, uh, yeah, so 500 would be a nice. Thanks, Shante. 500 would be nice. Shante, do you remember me? I used to be the one always asking Dr. K to come to the Bahamas. Yeah. I do, and then when we came, where are you at? We yeah. Were there, right? we were I, was, I was willing to do whatever it takes. Well, well, now that we know you're in Dallas, we're going to have to come and, we're gonna have to come and see you. But, Definitely. Um, <laughs> oh wait, wait. We this is recorded. We heard that. We heard that. <laughs> that um, oh, well, hey, but no, but for real, for real. We we um yeah. Dr. Cassie has to be very highly. She just absolutely adores you. So um, I'm sure she has no problem taking that road trip once we're done with everything else. And um, Andre asked. He asked that question for me because I've been pending for a few days for your site. So I I, I had asked him. I didn't know who else to ask. Uh want to you. I'll go ahead and do that right after the call. I'll go ahead and approve it. I'm sorry. No, 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 no problem. Thank you so much. No um, problem. I, I have a question. Go ahead. Um, thank you, Shantae, for bringing up about the leverage because um, it, it brought up something I have to ask. If you have your live account set up on a one to 200 ratio for leverage, does that automatically put your demo account at that as well? No, you, you can you choose your demo on whatever you want to do. But keep in mind, I recommend you stay to 1 to 200. That's safe zone for everybody. You know, okay. I mean. How do you set up the demo? Um, to you just go, uh, you go into your broker and you just go to create account and you can create a demo. And what our broker are you using? Well, I have a demo already, but I don't remember where I leveraged it at. And so today. Just, I create, looking... just create another demo. That's cool. Oh. Okay. Yeah, you can create as much demos account you want. Okay, cool. Thanks. Okay. Uh, yeah. And also, while we're on this topic about US 30, because it's when we talk about US 30, everybody gets excited. Remember, with these alerts, remember, we have eight pairs, guys. So I want you guys to understand something. Every pair you see, you don't have to take, even though you're getting bullish and bearish. Not because you see all those pairs means you have to, you have to take them. You know, you can take one at a time. I recommend you taking one at a time and growing the account. Get in, get in the habit of doing weekly withdrawals, you know, and then if you want to increase it the next week to more than one or two, because today we had, we had uh, numerous of times where, you know, the, the impulse scalpel, it called like three, three trades all in once. You know, all of them hit. All of them hit, but it called like three in, all in one. We don't want you to get in all, a bunch to trades and then you know over leveraging your account also leverage is going to be key all right but yes the us 30 that that thing that that, that that's a nice one uh i'm not sure if it works on traders way does anybody trade uh using traders way and use us 30 i'm not i'm not sure i use uh, no traders way it doesn't have indices okay perfect thank you do we have any other questions? I know we were supposed to, Paul, we were supposed to find two impulses, right? Can you, can you, uh, can you, can you pull that up for me real quick? Oh, y'all want me, 
Y'all right, want I, us to go over the, the spreadsheet? You got I, got, I got two quick ones, then, then you can do the spreadsheet. Okay. You say you got two quick, oh yeah, you got two quick yeah. impulses, perfect. Yeah, to show. All right, can everyone see my screen? Yes, sir. Okay, so um, I'll just move this box here. But that was just highlighting the impulse. So everyone can see, um, put this up here, this impulse, all these buy candles going up this way, right? So if I measure that move, we can see from here, sorry, from here to here is about 70 pips. So the impulse scalper will probably give an alert once um, price reaches this point, right? So you'll get an alert here. It tells you to wait for the next candle. So you ideally be getting in on this candle. And as you can see, if, if you jumped in at 70 pips, the importance of leverage um, will come in because you see it goes all the way to 93 pips before it starts coming back. So that's one of the reasons you want to be leveraged correct and be able to sustain that extra movement. So um, this call, you would have come in right here. And then you can see, just to get the 10 pips, it would have hit right there. And if you got in at 70, you would wait for it to go all the way up and then it would come back here. And then your 10 pips would hit somewhere here. And as you can see, it kept going further down all the way. So that's an example of um, a bullish uh, impulse. So now we, right here, we have a bearish impulse. So similar thing, it went all the way down here. 70 pips is right at this point, at this wick. And then the alert would have hit right exactly there. And as you can see, it traced back on the same candle. So if you got in before the next candle, you would have got your 10 pips right there. But if you waited for the next candle, it would have started right here and you still get your 10 pips by right here. And then as you can see, it kept going this way. So that's just two quick examples of, of bearish and bullish alerts. Does anyone have any questions on that? Nope. Well, yes. Um, in, the, in the bullish uh, movement, the fact that it went to 93 pips. Mm -hmm. um, would you recommend us staying in to 20 or 30 uh, pips at that point, or just keep it at 10 pips for take profit? We, we're sticking with the rules. So um, what David has always done and what he's taught us to do is go for the 10 pips, mm -hmm. wait on the next call. No, because he, he had mentioned earlier that if it goes to like 90 or 100, then you know, it would probably go down. To, okay. To All right. Okay. Talking. Okay. I understand. Okay. So this is how I do it. Um, if I'm trading on my own and not relying on the, the impulse scalper alerts and I got in here, I would just wait on that one trade to hit. Right. So even if it kept going this way, I wouldn't jump in another trade just to catch more pips coming down, but that's just me. Right. Um, but if you've back tested it and you know, okay, oops, I got in too early, but I know it's still gonna correct. So I'll try getting on this one on a second trade, making sure I'm leveraged correct. Um, I mean, you could still do that, but I personally don't. Um, sure. does, that, does that help? Yes, thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Anybody else with any questions? All right, cool. David, you can take over. Well, I do have a question. Can you hear me? Oh, yes. 
Right. You know, it, it appears that there are opportunities to get more than 10 pips on quite a few occasions. I find that to be such a temptation. Uh, <laughs> uh, the, uh, if the, you guys came up with 10 pips. Uh, is, is that because it consistently you get at least 10 pips? And if you go higher to a higher amount that you are now in danger of it not hitting? So, you know what I mean? Because it looks like there's more money to be made. And I, I know I, I, I've had problems in the past with the greed factor. And there you go. You just answered it. But um, we just want to make sure, because um, of the probability of the 10 pips hitting, is what we're going for. Everything we do, we try and raise that probability factor to as close to 100% as possible. So with the testing we've done, we are very sure that those 10 pips will more likely hit, right? But if you try go for more, um, there's likelihood that it could just go to like say 11 and then just wake back up all the way in the opposite direction. And if you can't handle that drawdown or draw back, then you run into a problem where now your emotions will be fighting against you. And even if you know you can sustain um, 100 pips in the wrong direction, just seeing those negative numbers might affect you to the point where you just close a trade that, you know, you could have got your 10 pips and been waiting for a next one. You know, uh, like, I appreciate that. I have been there. Thank yeah. you so much. But um, what, what um, David, I think, mentioned is uh, later on, we, I, uh, we even have a training that Jennifer did specifically for GJ, which allows you to um, get a little bit more than uh, the 10 pips if you put your, your fibs on, on the impulse. And so if you have time, uh, if you go to mrggpipwalking.com on Mr. GJ TV, you could watch that video that Jennifer went over her strategy. How do we know which? How do we know which one that is? Um, I think I have it uh, labeled. Um, uh, I think it's the gasolina um, strategy. Gasoline. Gasolina. It's spelled in the chat. Gasolina. Thank you so much. Hey, hey Paul. Yes, sir. Um, one thing I one thing I wanted to add on what the gentleman was just talking about. Yeah. I I never realized that. Um, well, I, I used to be one of those guys that I jump in the impulse and I see it going up and going up and I and I hurry up and, and jump in another trade. I guess that was like my style, or like David said, that was my personality. Yeah. But where where it went wrong for me was it might keep going up on both of them. And mm -hmm. a lot of times the broker would just close out my own, my, my own trade. And I'm like, well, wait, what, what happened? And I didn't realize the broker can close you out on, on certain moves like that. So that's something that was never brought up. You might want to touch on that, Dave, because I'm sure you never went through that. But yeah, exactly. What, what I've seen that happen is if you're over leveraged and you, you get that margin call where basically the broker is telling you you don't have enough money to be in both these trades with the way you're leveraged. Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, so it all comes back to leveraging right. So yeah. if, if you're leveraged right, you won't see that kind of margin call until the market goes a ridiculous amount of pips in the wrong direction, you know. So, but if like say your lot size is supposed to be 0 0.02 and you get in two trades and they're both uh, 0 0.02, automatically you're over leveraged. Whereas if you knew you were gonna do two trades and you split it into 0 0.01 for one and 0 0.01 for the other, then you're still leveraged, right? But um, that, that's why it's important to stay um, disciplined with what the spreadsheet is giving you, which helps you uh, leverage the right way. All right. I think, David, you can take over. All right. And just to add on to uh, the whole, the 10 pips and you guys seeing all the money that's left on the table, remember, remember the reasoning behind the strategy. Remember the story in the beginning. Remember I started from Dr. K. 
I was paid with 10 pips and dip. Remember, you do something for about 26 days in a row, it becomes a habit. So 10 pips of dip was my habit. That's all I knew. When I was training everybody, everything was 10 pips. That's what I was taught, and I just took it and ran with it. You know, so when I was coming up with this strategy, that's all I knew. I knew the 15-minute time frame. I went to a training here in Dallas. It was the 15-minute time frame, 10 pips in dip. So as I created the strategy, that's what I knew. That's what I took from Dr. K with the cloud. And then I guess I added Jamal with market structure and then also basically Steven Semendor, the impulse correction con continuation. So remember how it all started. And being a scout trader, I, I did it because I wanted to be in and out the market pretty fast. I didn't want to see trades run all day long. I wanted to be in and out. So being in and out, when I back tested this impulse, I realized that, hey, even though some, some traders are, they're excited about the, 100, the 70 to 100 pip impulse because they're making so much money on that, I just wanted the 10 pips because I understood that you can compound the money and you can make money every 10 pips as, it go, as, you, as you complete it. So that's where the whole 10 pips came from, you know, and I just, yeah, I just ran with it and, you know, it's still, it's still with me. Uh, and, you know, to go along with it, I guess I'll show you guys, you know, the, the spreadsheet, you know, so the spreadsheet is also something, uh, also something that we started with, you know, that I got when I first started, we kind of tweaked it a little bit with Mr. GJ, but it was something different that I, start, that I decided to do. Can you guys see my, my thing? Hold on a second. Can you guys see my spreadsheet? Yes. <laughs> so this is the same spreadsheet you've probably seen a, around a lot on the 90-day uh, 90 90 spreadsheet. Basically, you know, you are uh, compounding your money, right? Same thing the banks do, you know, you sign a 20-year, 30-year mortgage, you know, and, you know, you sign it for 100000 in 20, 30 years, you pay almost two, three times the house's worth. So, all you know, all you're doing is basically compounding, you know, your own money. So, I have it where it was a 10% growth. You know, we had so many spreadsheets that everybody used, but it was hard for a lot of people to complete it. And nine times out of ten, the stories would be, I got into a bad trade and I blew my account. Why? Because we were over leveraged. Why? Because we were being greedy, right? So I said, okay, how can we still use this 90-day spreadsheet? And how can we basically, how can I force people that's following me to leverage their account right? So with this spreadsheet, it's the same spreadsheet you guys seen before. The difference with this is, what you're going to do is your actual balance. You're going to take 20% of that and you're going to put it, plug it in your beginning balance. So that's forcing you to leverage your account where you can sustain 500 pips. So I say, if people don't listen to me and when I tell them use 1% to 3%, I say, I'll just force them to use this spreadsheet and put 20% of the actual balance in the beginning balance. So for example, if you have $100, 20% of 100 is 20 bucks. So you would put 20 bucks in your beginning balance. If your actual trading balance is $200, you would change it to $40. And then you just follow the lot sizes. The still 10 pips for each trade is a 10% growth, but you're using 20% of your actual balance. Now, how why did I come up with 20%? Because I needed to find a number, a day that I can complete and I can say, okay, this day I, I made all my money back and I profited, and profited what I put in there. So on day 17, regardless of what amount you put for the 20%, on day 17 is going to be the actual number that you complete, that you pull off of the account. Once you get in market money, it's game over. Everything is, is good from then. That's my ultimate goal, to get as, many, as much people to get in the market money first. 
and then come back and put the actual balance to match the beginning balance and shoot for 10%. Because now you're all market money and you're still shooting on weekly withdrawals. So that's where you consistently make this profit and make money every week. So for example, if you started off with 200 bucks, you would put here $40 for your beginning balance. So your first day lot size, you would put four cents. You would continue to go down every day. Day 17, you made your $200 back. Withdraw the $200 and you're fresh in market money. All right? If you wanted to, you know, start over, but day 30, you would took $40 into $697, 60 days, not even days, trades. You would took that to $12,000 and in 90 days, $212,000. Now, just alone, let's just say today we got into 13 bearish and bullish. That means, let's say you got into 10 of them. In one day, you could have knocked out 10 days. Let's say tomorrow it does the same. Two days, you can knock out 20 days. That's just how it's going to go. You know, if you, if you have $1,000 that you're starting with, 20% of 1000 is $200. Same thing. Start off with $0.20 cents for your lot size. Second trade, 22 cents. Third trade, 24 cents. At day 17, what do you have? 1,010. Your money back. And if you guys go down, same spreadsheet you've seen. You took that $200, turned it into a million. Off of 200, not really 1,000. Same thing. You can put your daily, you know, the goals. You have the goals. You can put the actual numbers you get it and just keep track of it every day. My record in one week was 24 days in one week. With this eight pairs and one impulse, in, uh, impulse scalper, I'm sure people could knock out 30, 40 in one week. I'm confident in that. I haven't really went all in because my goal, you know, for the month of April was pretty set. You know, I accomplished my goal for the month of April. So now we're in May. It's showtime. We're going to do this thing again. All right? So that's how you do it. 20% of your actual balance you're going to put in the beginning. So if you're trading $100 in your actual balance, you need to come here and you need to put 20 bucks and follow the lot size. All right? Any questions? I have a question. Go ahead. Um, so are you suggesting when using a spreadsheet, we're only in one trade at a time? I recommend that. Stick with one trade at a time. Okay. So just say, how long would you hold that one trade um, before you like, okay, I'm just going to cut my losses on this? So most of the time, so here's the thing. The 12 losses I took in the last 11 months all came from trading the consolidation. None of them came from the impulse. So what we have right now is basically straight impulses. The impulse scalper is straight impulses. You're going to have the lines crossing for consolidation. But so I don't think in this you should have, you know, impulses lasting longer than, you know, maybe two days. I mean, it, it could happen, but there's a slim chance it's probably your impulse is probably going to correct within, you know, seconds, minutes, maybe, you know, maybe a couple hours. But I don't think it's going to take, you know, that long. But if you're trading consolidation, usually I don't start, because I'm leveraged, right, I don't really start to worry and panic until maybe 70, 80 pips if that happens. And that's maybe 10 to 15% of the time I'm trading. And that's why I do weekly withdrawals. So when that does happen, I'm not panicking. I just have to, you know, live the trade another day and make up for it. But in the last 11 months, it happened 12 times. Impulse hey, should be pretty quick. I got a quick question for you, man. Go ahead. Are you ready for all these success stories with what you're, fucking, with what you're dropping right now? Man, I've, I've already been like, I've, I'd probably get about 10 to 15 per day right now. And I answer every single message that hits me, you know, but uh, I'm, I'm ready, man. It's, I, I, I can see it. Is already happening. That 10 to so 15 is, is about to go to 100 to 150 a day. You keep pushing like this. <laughs> <laughs> that's, 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 that's more power to everybody, man. It's 
changing lives and, you know, helping people be financially free. That's what it's about. Hey, man, it's all thanks to you and your team. You, Paul, and the rest of your team. We give all the thanks to y'all. No problem, man. It's just the beginning. Remember that. Just the beginning. Let's do it. So what time you and Paul coming to Freeport, David? I may, I probably going to sneak over to the Bahamas. Uh, I have a trip in June to uh, Boca Raton, Florida. So I'm thinking I'll probably come to the Bahamas for two days while I'm in Florida. But if you're in Florida, if you're in the Bahamas, you need to probably come over to Fort Lauderdale the end of this month. We're going to have this stuff live, live in action. No, that's going to be my time for me to come back to um, Abaco around the time. You, you, you could sneak over there. <laughs> okay. okay I'll, I'll try to make it, you know, outside of next month, I'll try to make, right, last time I came, I think I spent, what, a week in, Free, in, in Freeport, went to Albuco. So I'll try to maybe come for the Bahamas maybe like a week or so. Quick, I get the chairman. Y'all can have me for two weeks in the Bahamas. I'll stay there. Okay, make sure I bring Paul. Yeah, you had that, Paul? Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Any other questions? Hey, Shante, I, I looked for you just now. I didn't see you. you when did you uh, request to... to, uh, for, to... Yesterday or the day before, and I went ahead and tried to do the login, and it says that your, your request is still pending approval. Okay, let me... Paul, if you could help me. I've, I've looked and I didn't see it. Mine did. We'll, uh, we'll, go over, we'll go over everyone tonight and try and approve everybody tonight that's mm -hmm. pending. I'm Thank getting a few coming. questions about that too. Okay. All right. David, I have a question. When you're doing the weekly withdrawal, are you moving that to another account with that broker or are you actually taking it out? Uh, so I'm taking it out. I want to see my money in my bank account. Uh, so I use, I use, uh, we want to be now. able to get what Sean. I use uh, Hugo's way because they do uh, ACHs. I mean, I used to love CoinEx, you know, because of the low spreads, you know, and then I used to send it to Coinbase. But uh, Hugo's way charge 12 bucks on your withdrawals, regardless of the amount. Uh, when you do CoinEx, when I was to transfer thousands over, I would have to pay almost two, three hundred dollars, you know, with the Bitcoin, you know, uh, with, the, with them sending it to Coinbase and then Coinbase charge you to sell the coin. You know, with right now, Hugo's way, it doesn't matter if I'm, you know, withdrawing 500, 5,000, 9,000, 12 bucks they charge. And it takes two days to hit my, my bank account. It's a direct deposit. Like if you had work and they pay you direct deposit, it's your account in two days, direct deposit. So I love Hugo's way for that. I don't love their spreads too much, but I can deal with it. But I love them for that withdrawal. I want my money back in my account. What's that commercial? It's my money and I want it now. Yeah, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Any other questions before we wrap up? Yeah, David, yeah, gotta, talking gotta. about... We got two. We got Wilbert and then we got Gerald. Go ahead, Wilbert. Yeah, talking about the, um, the how much uh, Hugo Way charges you. I hit uh, a whole bunch, uh, like 19 of 19 trades today. Most of them all small. It, 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 Congratulations, what, what first kind of, off. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I, my very first trade was a loss. What I did off of a uh, off of one of those programs, and then from listening to you last night, I said, "Well, I'm going to hit the next nine because uh, wow. 90 percent, right?" So my goal was nine, and I hit 18. But what's my fee going to be for for all those trades? So every trade you get in, if you tap on it, if you tap on the trade that you get in, you'll see to the bottom right, every every broker charges a commission. So if you so every trade that you got in, you would see a commission that they charge you. So once you're making more than that, then it's straight profits. So like for example, if you get charged, you know, 10 cents, you know, if you make 15 cents in the market, basically your five cents in profit or five dollars, whatever we use a different number, you know, but uh, yeah, once you, the commissions are always in that same trade to the bottom right. Okay, and then what, where do I need to go to see how I have 
on Hoogle's way, I added another account so I can do yours because I couldn't, I was afraid I was going to be over leveraging just doing the, uh, doing the ones that I was doing from the, from this, what I learned from you last night that I, 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 I couldn't get into the US 30 or oil or whatever, what you were sending out because I was afraid I was going to blow my account. How do okay. I add? How do I add another one on to, is there, is that in? So this is what I want you to do first, Robert. Anytime you see US 30 and US oil for the next week or two, I just want you to trade demo on that. So create a demo account, continue doing what you're doing with your live account, take other trades that you see. But if you see US oil and US 30, because it moved, I, I know you said you're pretty, you're, you're pretty new in trading, right? Yes. <laughs> yes. So, yes. Was do, so do. Today. So do me a favor and trade your demo for the next week or two. Anytime you see U.S. oil or U.S. 30 and get in the habit, get consistent in making profits on those first and continue doing what you're doing on your live, you know, which you, you should be trading demo. But, uh, <laughs> you know, but I mean, 19 for 19 uh, on your first day, you know, or your second, 18 for 19 is pretty good, but I want you to be consistent in it. So, Stay trading low right now, what you're doing, and then just incorporate your demo account. And I, like I said, trade the demo just like it's your live. Remember, the market is not going anywhere. Right, right. So next week, two weeks, a month, a year, years, it's still going to be here. So don't get too much in a rush and trying to get in everything. I Just trust my word on this. Just trade the demo for a week or two consistently. Doing the same thing you're doing and incorporating what you're doing. And the money is going to flow through after, like, so much. See, a lot of people, they want to start making that trade and making that money right now. They see, everybody profiting. <laughs> they see everybody profiting, and they see, you know, the excitement, and they want to make that money now. But everybody has a story. Everybody started somewhere. You know, I started trading demo first. I started trading pennies. But, I, you know, once I realized that the market wasn't going anywhere, you know, the money flows through now because you know the skill. So just do that for me. Even if you do it for the rest of the week, trade your demo for me and, and, and then, and then uh, follow up with me on Sunday on the call. Okay. All right. Thank you. Right. You're welcome. Any other questions? Make yeah, sure I got a if question. you're brand new to the, to the impulse, you know, your homework is to go through any, you know, go through GJ and find about 10 to 20 impulses. Screenshot it and just save it. If you, if you have any questions on it, you can post it in the Interaction GJ group, and we'll have people in there to confirm that it was an impulse, but just to get some practice in, all right? It's simple once you see it. Uh, go ahead, Gerald. My question was with the eight pairs that you have with the impulse scalper, uh, how many, since you all been testing it, how many impulses do you all see on average per day oh shoot yesterday <laughs> i can uh, do that many i didn't take that there's there's no way of knowing uh because like like we mentioned earlier a lot of times the impulse is driven by the news so um this like yesterday we had a whole bunch like david said it broke records of what we've seen um but there's there's weeks you can go without any impulse um, so it's, that's, that's a hard one to answer because there's no specific number. So I guess it all depends on how many pairs that we have that we're looking at. Right. right. Yeah. I, I understand that they will come in randomly because of the like news, like political news and economic news announcements. But like, can you maybe say on average what you would see in a day, maybe two impulses, three Eight. <laughs> I can't say. I can say two today, and then tomorrow we have twenty. Okay. You know, All right. so it's 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 really tough to tell. Okay. All right. Man, I can just tell you, get excited, bro. That's what I can tell oh, I'm you. Excited. Get, I'm get excited. excited. I'm excited. Because it's crazy. All righty. Do we have any other questions? Anything? I have a question. Okay, let's go, Angela, and then we had somebody else. I didn't see the name on that one. Angela, it's go ahead. Light. 
Okay. Right, um, you mentioned that you use Hugo's Way and even with their spreads. So even with their spreads and going for 10 pips, you think it's a better choice than Cornex? For me, you know, and I, I, I'm, man, I used to preach to everybody, hey, you got to catch the lowest spreads, you know, and Hugo's Way is not that, is not that bad. I mean, I think it's right, like 1.6 1. 1. or it's it's not not as bad, you know. It all equals out for me. It all equals out for me, you know. And uh, I just fell in love with the withdrawals. I mean, that's what we're here to do: withdraw money. So I was, you know, when for somebody that's, you know, and I and I teach everybody to to withdraw every week. But when you're talking about withdrawing thousands every week, and you know, three, two, three hundred dollars every, that stuff adds up. And I, I want my money. So, you know, if I can, if I can get charged 12 bucks and keep all that, keep the rest of that money, it kind of, it equals out in a sense too. I mean, I just, I mean, if, if I didn't, if, if I had a choice not to use Hugo's way, I would probably use CoinX, even though CoinX kind of do me dirty sometimes. All brokers do. But uh, I would probably, I would say CoinX would be my, my, my number two choice. Did that, that help you out a little bit, Angela? Yes, it did. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, so do, you, is there a, um, do you get, um, what is it, like a referral for Hugo's Way? Do you have a link or something? Uh, yeah, I think I could. Uh, just send me a message on uh, Telegram. You have my Telegram uh, stuff? Uh, yes. I'll, I'll send, yeah, send me a message and I'll send it to you. Okay. Okay, we had another question. Yes, um, I had to step away to um, take care of my kids right quick, but I came back and you were going over the spreadsheet. So my question is, um, when will we have access to that spreadsheet? Oh, you you and the money team, I'll send you that. Uh, you should have got it when you register from the, uh, for this call, right, Paul? Yes, um, and we're getting a few questions about that. If you filled out the registration form to get access to this call, on the confirmation email, there's a link uh, to download the spreadsheet. I, I did get a spreadsheet, but it's not that one. It's a different one. It's green and orange. Have you it's opened it? Spreadsheet. Yes, I did. Okay. If 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 the, that's the spreadsheet you got from the link, then it's the same thing. Um, the colors may be different, but it's the same thing. Oh, okay. Here's just look so. nice. <laughs> <laughs> So, so the, the, yes, the, yes. the green and orange, you're talking about the email or you're talking about the actual spreadsheet that opens the up in spreadsheet. Excel? Okay. The spreadsheet. Send, right. send, me, a, send me a message. Uh, I'll, and I'll, I'll change I'll, the colors. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's how it shows up when you do it through the, when you click on it and actually no, it's, open it through the web. Right. That's, so that's, that's what I was trying to get to. It looks yeah. like no, it's uh, it's still in that file. If you download the file and you go to the table and you see they have different tabs for the sheets, it's the 1,000.5% tab, and that's the the sheet he's using. Thank you. Perfect. Thanks. Thanks, guys. Uh, do we have any other questions? Any, hey, any? Um, Shanika, I know your voice. <laughs> Hi, of course, I don't have a question. I just want to reiterate on something you said earlier. So, guys, the, the program is great. Trust and believe. For, it's, it's a real game changer. And it's really just like icing on a cake. But I strongly recommend everyone, please, please try to learn the strategy. Like, and back test this. Like, the market, all in the market on the weekends. It's even though the market's not open, but you can back test, start with GJ, so you can be able to identify the impulses and what they, they look like. So when alerts come, you know what you're looking for. And when they're not available, you can still get in and trade on your own. Like, it's just like, please learn the strategy. Go back and watch his videos. And the strategy is on both impulse and consolidation, but of course, impulse is more easier to learn straight up and down. The consolidation, you need a little more indicators, but once you learn the strategy, it's just it's just gonna be a game changer for you overall because at that point you'll know you'll be able to know when to apply the field and how to apply it properly. 
properly and if you should and can't able to trend trade depending on your account and your leverage and when to enter and how to re-enter like you kind of learn all that stuff as you become a more experienced trader with this particular strategy or whatever strategy you use but definitely this one so please learn the strategy the impulse strategy especially so you can know how to identify it on your own and you can trade on your own and with alerts because again that they might not always be available every week or whatever the case may be so just go back to the mr gj to youtube and watch his videos and learn the strategy i try and trade in your demo if you're new I, please i trained in my demo for two months before i went live trade in your demo like these trainings he's doing this week are great but still go back and watch the videos and back test please Appreciate it, Shanika. Hey, I used to make fun of Shanika every train. She used to be on all my trainings every Sunday. She, I don't know, she used to pick that time for trainers to go cook and eat. And I'm like, That's dinner time. <laughs> every Sunday, she over there cooking and eating on the trainers. But, you know, that goes back to putting in the time, putting in the work. I mean, I, remember, I, I personally remember when I first started and Shanika was trying to figure it out. Like, and she don't hold them out. Like, if she don't understand something, she going to shut you down and ask you, hey, I don't yeah. see you show me. So I can remember back to day one, uh, you know, doing my impulse trainings. And, you know, there's so many people that's been on every single Sunday learning it now just to see them take off and run with it. I mean, it's, it's amazing. I mean, and the reason is it's going to be so powerful for you to know it is, you know, when these alerts come, you don't have to wait on me to put a TP. You just know what you know what you're going in for. You know, uh, so uh, yeah, I appreciate. So that's that's some good information. Everybody, uh, before we sign off, y'all drop some ones in the chat for Matt. You know, he had a new baby, Matthew. Go ahead and drop some ones and congratulate him on his new addition to the family. All right, I think they're still in the hospital. I'm being nosy. But uh, congratulations, Matt. Thank you very much. You very much. Very Y'all still in the hospital? Yeah, we should be coming home tomorrow. Now, that's what you call some dedication in the hospital on the trainings. That's Those some good two. stuff. All right. Uh, anything else before we sign off? Let me just tomorrow. add one thing. Go ahead, Paul. Um, so for those who have been asking uh, about being approved on the website, I've gone ahead and approved all the pending requests. So should be good to go. I have a question. Go ahead. I've been approved, but I'm not able to actually sign in. What, what are you seeing? It just tells me about my... It sounds like my but it just says that once I click on it, I can send in my email, but I have no password. You didn't create one? I did, but it's not allowing it. Oh, so just, just go ahead and use the forgot password option and, and try and reset that. For some reason, I can't find it. That's what I've been looking for. Doing it. Hmm. Okay. What you do is uh, try to do it uh, CC and then take a screenshot of what you're seeing and then you just send it to me or Paul and then we'll see what we can do on that on our end. Okay. Yes, that's good, Paul? Yeah, that works. Right. Yes, hello. Hello, Paul and David. This hey, is Gloria. Gloria and I'm uh, talking on behalf of my husband, uh, Julio Ortiz. When he filled out the form, he accidentally put the incorrect um, email yeah. and we sent us a uh, private message to Andre with the correct email because he never got the email so he can join. So he's just joining with me. Oh, okay. Get him um, set up what we need to do so he can get the link so he can get in. So send me a message with the um, new email. The name. Okay. Just the name. And then I got I'll, it, Paul. I already okay, yeah. I, All right, just thanks, you. Andre. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'll send it to you, Paul. So what I'll do is I'll just delete the the wrong uh, account yeah, right. with the wrong email and then it should allow you to submit another registration oh okay submit another because we tried to do that and it said only one registration could be submitted okay yep, correct all right 
Sorry about that. I was in that tornado last night, and I honestly forgot. Yeah. To yeah, he told us. Yeah, so he I told apologize. Us. That's on me. I'm glad you're okay, man. I'm glad you're okay, brother. It's no problem. Thank yeah. you. And then, guys, just look out on Friday, either Friday or Saturday, we'll send out the registration for the Impulse Scalper. So you would have to fill it out again, uh, and then basically uh, submit a active uh, submit a copy of your active a screenshot of your active membership. And then you'll get access to the Telegram group for that for next week. So uh, hopefully by, you know, maybe Saturday we'll do that, right, Paul? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, guys. Uh, I think that's it. Tomorrow we'll finish up with the uh, consolidations and then what to do on the lines crossing above the TK crosses. And then uh, that'll be it for us wrapping up. Uh, if I'll do the same thing, if we get any alerts that are, you know uh, I want to share with you guys, I'll drop it in my original Telegram, and then you guys can take that one. But next week, everybody will have access to it. All right. Hey, David. Quick question for you. Go ahead, David. Um, when it comes to just learning more about those eight currencies, are, are you guys going to touch base on like you know how to um, do those or is that something that's easier for us just to go through the academy and just look at, you know, as far as like pip count and all that stuff, because I know some of them move differently. Uh, so what I would say on that, and Paul, correct me if I'm wrong, uh, for now, we, we have identified the impulses on them. Uh, in the future, what we're going to do is probably maybe dissect them in trainings, you know, like how we go over GJ and we go over 7,100. We may include, you know, that, you know, it's, we're going to kind of, you know, put it out there or maybe, you know, on the, the, uh, the Mr. GJ uh, Elite Traders, you know, who picked that, their particular pair. Maybe they may be willing to go over that pair with you on a Sunday training. I think that should be good, right, Paul? What you think? Yeah, that sounds good. Um, so right now, the, the numbers, we're still changing them up a little bit. So and that's why we, we can't give exact numbers yet. Um, but that idea of having the traders share with us, that, that's a good one. So we'll work on that. All right. Definitely understand, gentlemen. Appreciate you guys. Yeah, no problem. No problem. All right, so that is the end of the call tonight. Don't forget, we have a new month. I don't know, uh, Paul, is the new charity out charity out for this month yet or not yet? That'll be out tomorrow because uh, we extended uh, the last month for one day. Perfect. Okay, so starting tomorrow, we have uh, May's charity out. So go uh, and support it. Uh, we'll go over that probably tomorrow. And, and, you know, like I said, if you have a charity that you want us to support, you know, just uh, submit a request and we'll go ahead and plug it into the monthly lineup. You know, it's just about giving back to, you know, the community. I mean, it could be a church, it could be a foundation, it could be, you know, I mean, you name it. Some, you know, family that needs help. I mean, you know, just submit it and we'll add it to, you know, the charity of that month. And, you know, we just want to, you know, continue to change lives while we're making money in the market and learning the skill set, all right? So uh, I think that is it. Make sure if you're near Florida that you come to the event at the end of the month, the 23rd through the 25th in Fort Lauderdale. It's going to be in a high-rise hotel. They have a, a lunch and drinks, uh, water and juice included. <laughs> you know, I had to correct myself. But uh, it's included in, uh, in that, and then uh, we're going to do a London session live while we're there. Uh, and yeah, it's going to be fun, you know, and then we're also talking, you know, we have in the talks here about a big Dallas event. And I know Kenya, I'll be going to Kenya, you know, in, in the next few, um, few months. Uh, so that's it, man. Uh, that's it. Make sure you guys shout out Dan Paul Scalpo on social media. Hashtag it. Let everybody know what it is. All right. You guys have a great night. We will see you mañana. <laughs>